to you, didn't. Uh, welcome, Old Dominion. We are back for another Tuesday primetime scare time adventure for Old Dominion Overwatch Varsity and Junior Varsity, which we'll be starting with today. Another little Junior Varsity sweep. Nace is actually over, so we guys, we did lose every match for Nace. Just uh, letting you know. Uh, well, uh, I think we are getting ready to jump into the action match. here. Yeah, Old Dominion J Junior Varsity is going against HCC. I think that's a fruit company, but I think it's technically a college we're going against right now. It may be a subdivision of the fruit company branching into esports. You know, new I, market, I new think area. It's HICC is the, like the orange juice thing. Possibly, well, possibly. Either way, anything about juices right now. I feel it. I got a hunch right now. I feel it right in my bones that Old Dominion is going to be winning this match right about right now. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it, it's it, it's anyone's call. I mean, yeah. I is it, it's Tabia or not Tabia, to be yeah. honest. Like there's no way to be honest. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. Very uh yes. Uh so what do so, we want to see different from last week? Well, to be honest, I don't think we played against JV. We didn't see JV last week, so going in right about now. Right about <laughs> now. Freeze frame. Yeah. Oh, oh we are way in. in. Wait, okay. <laughs> SU, not even the right college, honestly. Looking like uh, 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 I don't uh -oh. know what that person's name is. Life Queaver. I don't know what that <laughs> life queaver, life queaver, right there. Like, like we didn't lose that. We're kind of flipped right now too. So this is pandemonium. Sorry, my caster is being kind of a numbskull right now. I'll take over There's here a for a bit while he while he uh, gathers his belongings. Um, it looks like we <laughs> are. Go oh, that is. I see what you were fumbling yeah, we're over. Yeah, um, on the red team. Yeah, Alrighty. we are on the red team. I see that now. ODU does get first cap of the point. Um, not really sure how to analyze that first fight, so we will just go on from there. I don't know how that name made it into the bracket. The tougher uh, sauce does get a pick on the main tank for the side of Old Dominion. Who nope. are cosplaying as SU. I guess it is close to Halloween. People are trying to get their costumes on. They both went as pretty scary monsters, I think. Old Dominion being a spooky beast. Yep, that is a team wipe on the side of HCC, uh, contrary to what the title says. We uh, we have HCC on the left in blue and ODU on the right in red. Um, coming yeah. back to the fight now, it's uh, going to be even in percentage. Not really sure. We're coming up on window here into this next fight. Uh I'm so flabbergasted right now. It's it's it's. Yeah, uh, it looks like Sun has been using the side, what? but Chulitz does rip that person apart. But it just does not matter. Both supports are taken out. They are erased. I guess Old Dominion didn't really have the guts to win that fight, unfortunately. But that is kind of how it goes. Look, at a swap on Sigma. No, they already had Sigma. That is keep thinking that's our team, but uh, again, has been swapped a little bit. Enemy team has both window and DPS ults and flex coming up. But SU Old Dominion has every ult. Coming up right now, already using over in with Bastion Strike in the start of it right now. Kind of bad with no audio, but they are getting cooldowns out and window. We go for a wrist ult here in about two seconds. 
Look like a no. Unfortunate right there. Nova does go down. Attack visor is used by the enemy for some reason. No ults used on the side of Old Dominion besides oh, artillery, man. but I'll take it. The, if ODU doesn't get their uh, get their head straight, uh, they're going to be boned here pretty soon as we're approaching close to last fight territory. Uh, we're coming up on four ults for Old Dominion, only two on the side of HCC. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they need to get their act straight. Uh, something's going on. I this don't really. Scary scenario this, right now, yeah. yeah, spooky indeed. Uh, Yameo getting the first pick of the fight onto Chalets very early on. Taking out that main support is very, very detrimental for ODU, but Anubis will answer by taking down Dismissive on the side of HCC. Lamp comes out on the side of HCC, and the fight's got... That's our Reaper roll, and straight into the back line of ODU. Finds nothing, but it will find Cranky Pants after it runs out. Cosmic Frosty and Tougher Sauce finding another pick for HCC. Window comes out, finds nothing, and the Soul Sojourn on the point is not enough and to flip it. And yeah, HCC will take that does go round. down with... Two ults on the fight. Guess they <laughs> forgot to press those Q buttons. A little bit unfortunate on the side of Old Dominion. Do have that actually flipped right now. HCC, the Fruit College, is back on the right correct side now. Unfortunate first round map. I think it's a little bit of a warm up for the side of Old Dominion as they forget to use every ult in the game. But it's a okay. Guess they didn't really have the guts again to get ready to win that fight. But we should be getting to it pretty pretty soon. Yeah, ODU just it, it kind of felt like ODU had nobody or no body uh, really to <laughs> focusing like on the point on there. Nobody was using ults. Nobody was using anything else like that. Kind yeah. of just humorous, honestly. But yes, it, quite humorous indeed. Uh, hopefully they can be a little more hip this round. Uh, <laughs> play a little better going into this next map because if they do not, it, it will be the first map in a very quick yeah, map we're at that already for HCC. Running bone dry out of these jokes, but it's a okay. <laughs> we should be getting to right this. We kind of use all our arsenal already, but we should have a few. I'm not fibby lying, but not a good one right there. No, that there. was a that, uh, golden I, uh, one. That's pretty okay. We are taking left side first at the start. Looks like Doomfist was perusing the back line, decided to get out. Looks like we have already taken a bunch of map control. Can they use it correctly? <laughs> it does not look like it as ODU's backline hesitates to push forward. Cosmic Frosty will get the first pick onto Cranky Pants, and Nova and Anubis soon go down after that, leaving only a skeleton crew of ODU left on the point, and that's easy pickings for HCC. Clorox getting a pick, but it is not enough. Yeah, just kind of how it goes. They do get the pick first. Looking like HCC kind of have a little goofy comp, but Old Mini isn't really, really going on anything. They have May, they have Soldier. Have an Arissa, but they kind of just forget to walk, so it's a little, little too bad on the side of that. Looks like Nova completely disregarding that Reaper, and uh, Yamayo does get the pick on Anubis for that. Looks like they kind of are just oblivious, but they do get the pick on a Cosmic Frosty. Both soldiers down on both. Even fight. A lot of resources used on the side of HCC. Will they be able to capitalize? Let us see. Yeah, Nova trying to get that high ground again. Uh, wait, Maywall comes out on the Doomfist, but he merrily escapes that. Nova still pushing forward. Wall purple, tougher sauce, finding the pick on Clorox, making it a 4v5. Evening the odds, Nova taking down that person. Uh, and Yameo uh, getting two, make that three picks, ending the fight in favor of HCC. Yeah, just... Again, ult fight coming up on the side of both teams. Not a single ult used by Old Dominion yet. Looking like a swap on Kiriko from the Baptiste. Interesting idea. I guess they're trying to live a little bit here. Can they win through this ult fight, though? They don't actually have the support advantage anymore as both teams are coming on both support ults besides Old Dominion. Yeah, it, it, it almost feels like ODU doesn't have a leg to stand on each one of these team fights. You know, one member gets picked first, but the tables have turned as Chulets gets the first pick of the fight onto Tougher Sauce, the uh, arguably the main DPS of HCC so far. Chulets, with the visor uh, in her face, will hold on to that May ult. Um, yeah, uh, a little okay. unfortunate right there. We are kind of even on the fight here, but both Tank and May will be going down very shortly on the side of Old Dominion on that. Kind of even fight. Kiriko May versus just the Reaper coming up. Shouldn't be too bad. We've got to keep our May up, though. Suzu is used. Can five, six. Uh, All there right, we that go. a good pick, but the Doomfist will be back because they took a little too long to actually kill that one character. Can we they kill the Doomfist? We still have not flipped the point, and it yeah, is going to like hit... 98%, not 99. There is a point there right now. All ults on the side of Old Dominion. HCC somehow managed to use four ults in that, four ults in that fight and two and managed to loss somehow. Don't really get it. 
have swapped on the Kiriko. Nothing else really changed on the side of HTC. But we do have five ults. Can we use them this fight? Can we actually use ultimates this fight? Looks like Kiriko is going to go down without using Kitsune. That's not what you want to see. Are we going to see an Ajax? Are we even going to see a beat come off? It is very no, arguable. No, no does we come do out. That might get two. Oh, the Kiriko does end up suzuing. Doesn't really matter. Nova dies with Orisa ult too. Attack fire is used on the side of Old Dominion. But we are going to go down with three <laughs> ultimates again, guys. I don't know if they know, but those don't translate to the next map. Those don't actually follow you. Looks like Kitsune two touch doesn't really matter. Yes, this is not Monopoly. Uh, Overwatch is not about hoarding the most ults uh, and passing go and collecting more and more. You have to use your abilities and ultimates as they come up off of cooldown uh, when the time arises. We saw in both maps, you know, it was a very quick jump in to this uh, map, but we saw in both rounds ults at the end of the round and that's never something you want to see you know even in i didn't casual. see them at the end of the round i saw them at like the after the round was over well yeah that's what i'm saying like even steven's a little bit yeah yeah kind of a little bit unfortunate remember this is the junior varsity team a couple of mistakes will happen yeah that is kind of how it goes little numb school plays all that happens on the side jv does end up losing that first map but i'm just going to chalk that up to a warm-up map uh, jv really hasn't done this before they have a pretty good season so far, we did kind of get a little bit interrupted in our beginning part because we did start extremely late. Not my fault. Kind of my caster. It takes 20 years to get ready, huh? makeup and everything, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. That, yeah. That's fine. I, I hate to nope. bring the ice. It's all it's No, all that's okay. cool. Just, Just throw me under the bus like no, that. That's, okay. that's all, you, that's you all can, good, man. You ran over there because it is yep. true. Okay. All right. Let's go over again what we have tonight, though. Junior Varsity versus HCC. Highland Community College. This is a Highlander match right now. Mace, 6v6. Two scouts, all that. We're gonna go over that bit in a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we will see another reappearance of the the horse, uh, the uh, headless Don't speak horseman. His name. Don't speak his name. He might spawn right now. Unfortunately, we have all that right there. Junior varsity is currently down one in a first two three best of five case. After that, we do have Nace versus Shenandoah. Can be mace matches for both, not Nace. Nace is actually over. And University is going to their second match like right we're about going now. Going in, yes. Good old scrims row every single thing. The yeah. junior varsity, varsity special. Kings uh, row every map. Spectator options coming up. Can we pick one of those team one heroes? Uh, Didn't really get to see that too much, unfortunately. <laughs> Looks like HCC did take the side of defense. Old Dominion will be tacking first. Can we see a different showing compared to ODU before? That's all I'm wondering. That would be the, the most optimal outcome uh, of this scenario. Uh, I'm trying to pull my thesaurus out to uh, more eloquently describe what we just saw, but... Uh, not much is coming to the yeah, noggin. Looking like Nova is on the Sigma character. That is one of his strongest characters in the game. Mm -hmm. Or so I've been told is Orisa, Cattle, Sigma. Two two <laughs> opposite ends of the spectrum right there. Pretty good. Looking like Kiriko, Lucio, May, Soldier. Pretty. Yeah, that's something. Uh, <laughs> that is a, HCC, that's definitely Road one of the Hawk most Reaper, comps ever. Avari, May, and Kiriko. Yeah, like this is definitely <laughs> this a is game of Overwatch to <laughs> watch right now. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> there's almost nobody I can think who wouldn't be wanting to watch this match right now. Yeah, there's almost nobody I can think of that would want to watch. I mean, yeah, what you said. Yeah. <laughs> As we're getting into it, we see on the side of HCC, uh, Reaper, Roadhog, uh, May, May Kiriko, and I do believe that is a, a Lari? Yeah, that Correct is me the if correct I'm wrong. character. Yes. Yeah, so honestly... Funny enough, as it is, ODU should just have a better comp here. A lot of space being Sigma. taken early on by Nova. Very good positioning and very good uh, almost team collaboration there. Anubis getting the first pick of the fight. It's looking very promising for ODU as two, both DPSs for HCC go down very early in the fight. Nova just absolutely pummeling the back line of HCC, taking that space, and it will be a clean uh, first point and uh, payload secured for ODU. Very, very nicely done. Yeah, Old Dominion does just have the better comp overall to sustain character-wise. Looks like AGC has realized that they have swapped off the Roadhog into the Sigma. <laughs> no other changes. This is funny enough, almost a mirror besides the Lucio. I guess they are going to try to speed on the enemy with their Sigma to rock them down and rip them apart. I've ah. seen worse. Look like we do have audio now. Yes. I can actually hear the game and hear ultimates coming on. I thought I was just me. Hail Mary. thought the schizo voices came back. It's A-OK. -okay. They all are telling me how the game's being played, so I'll take it for now. A-OK. -okay. Looking like we do have a shield advantage. Never mind. Down one on the side of Old Dominion. Make that down two very, very shortly. Sigma will be going down. Looks like May is trying to hold the line by herself. Does get ripped apart. Uh, just a lost fight for that HCC side. looks like they will be touching the spawn doors of ODU, but that is all right as we are coming up on 
three ults for ODU, uh, and we are going to be pushing out of the spawn room here very shortly. HCC trying to play uh, under the archways onto the payload may not be the smartest idea. Uh, as they get the dual Maywalls out, trapping the Sigmas almost in a Pokemon Arena type battle, May goes down on the side of HCC, forcing the Lamp. Lamp finds nothing. Our, so um, Blizzard coming out on the side of only as well as some sort of come out. Forgets that you can't eat it, but I think he does measure block most of the time. That actually isn't a replay here yet. Sigma is down on the side of Old Mini, but Beat is actually used for the first time in two matches. Congratulations. We are starting to use ultimates. Is a warm-up here. Can we win this match? We have a swap on a Bastion. Turret is shot all the way into the Sigma hand. Can we get this go? I think they're actually just going to sustain it. That guy got another kill. Can't, can't really say that on the stream, but you can read the name if you do pull hard and think about it. Think about it. Not too hard there. Don't want the brain to explode. Is that so we have the same right now. Pylon down. Reaper is cut off on the side. Will he manage the TP out? Does Wraith run away from his team with his Window his comes out knocked out. at a very strange time in the fight there from the HCC. It's going to allow ODU to gate very late, uh, pass through the window completely on the side of HCC. ODU finding the first pick onto the Baptiste uh, with that name again. Dismiss it. Finding two picks for HCC. Turning the tides in their favor, though. Rock comes out. He will go down. It is a 3v3 fight right now. Reaper is left alive as well as the main. Kiriko, Suzu's to keep herself alive. Reaper will go down, and it looks like ODU's just cleaning up at this point. Just a May left on the payload. Should be easy enough to handle, but we saw with the Reaper that is not always the case. Uh, Nova finds the pick, and they will continue pushing this payload. Yeah, that was a pretty, for some reason, really split fight. Looks like a Baptiste is made on the side of HCC. I think that is a swap swap to Soldier as well. Same basic comps. They do have the Lucio Kiriko. Still, we did actually somehow manage to lose that fight almost with that. I don't know how that managed to work out, but we do have May ult. We'll just use Bastion ult on the side. Can we kind of pick with that? Nah. It's a okay though. Zone them out a little bit. Looks like we are going for Blizzard right about now. I think. Honestly, I think this is there's the window. We should be seeing the May just Blizzard can. come out. The May Blizzard does come out. Finds the Sigma. Will they be? Will they be able to capitalize on it? They can. Sigma goes down as well as the Soldier from HCC. Three v five scenario. ODU, ODU should be taking the high or taking the. Uh, the front line and pushing it as far as they possibly can uh, while their main tank or while their tank uh, for HCC is gone. It's only two members of uh, HCC kind of defending that front line. Reaper just absolutely decimating uh, Nova right there, but Nova does not give a care in the world. Uh, trying to find that backline pick, Sigma ult comes out inside of HCC. It's matched with the beat from ODU. Reaper, oh, we're spectating that guy. Oh. Yeah, we are on the side of uh, Voldemort on the side of there we HCC go. right now. Is ripped apart for his sins. Window is used on the side of HCC. Won't get any value, though, because they already are pushed back to the side. We're on their side. It's like Sigma is there. Sigma does manage to get value out of that because he did flux up there. Is booped off a fight. Uses ship. All that right now. He should be going down pretty shortly, but I do have managed to have focus fire. Looks like he actually won't. May is taken down on the side of Old Man, but that Blizzard though. does come out and should get at least two picks for the side of Old Man. Sigma not going down easy. Does go down eventually to Clorox Wipe. Nova, Nova finding another pick on the Soldier, and it should be just easy uh, pushing into the, the final point here. Yes, there. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, that's just clean. Yes, solid. Much better played. Much solid, clean, low rank Overwatch right there. Pretty crazy. All yeah. that right there. They did manage to win it. Didn't let that first map get under their skin. All that's working pretty well for the side of Old Dominion. I'm just saying, it was just a warm-up map. That's all it was. Like, we all got a bag. We went on our pride characters. We all won on those. All the characters are extreme. All back on comfort. May ults did zone, but they did end up getting two freezes on those last two. Two crucial freezes. Might have gone down, but it was a martyr play. Both times did manage to get that Sigma picked, or at least one HP where they could rip them apart after. That Reaper is just kind of... I think he's trying to snipe them. He's like a little sniper monkey. He's like shooting in the back with his little two shotguns, all that. Yeah. Didn't really see much from that side of HECC, but Old Dominion did just manage to sustain through it. They the do have Doom a Doom Fist Vistero. Reaper Sombra comp comes out on the side of HCC yeah, with their attack here. round. I don't think we've ever seen ODU uh, Junior Varsity at least play against this comp. Oh, yeah, this is the first week I think of Sombra being allowed in Mace and Mace. Mace is over, though. Funny enough, I do want to repeat that. Old Dominion Varsity did not win a single Nace match. Just letting you guys know. That is that's definitely a, rubbing stalker, salt in the yeah. wound. I that more will than take more so three years to heal. Like a, a, like that a, is a uh, bread roll. That is creating the wound. That is <laughs> it's more like yeah, cutting the wound and like shoving salt. In Lemons there, and salt and all that. Icky. Yeah, rubbing icky some dirt poop. in it. Yeah, some icky nastiness.
All right, looks like they are sticking with that comp. I wow. thought it was a troll comp, but it's a okay. Look like Ana Zen backline, Reaper Sombra Doomfist. You have to run into Sombra Doomfist dives. Dreams Locator already used on the side of HCC. I saw the little uh, phase shift trail that she leaves behind. Doomfist from HCC trying to take the high ground, but falls immediately, gets rocked, gets stuck in the backline of ODU. Not sure what the play there was from Dismissive, but ODU is able to collapse on him completely, taking him out of the fight very early on and leaving HCC with out a tank uh, pretty much for this entire first push. Sombra in the back line trying to get a pick but forgets that she has a pepper gun and not a sniper rifle uh, and cannot one shot everybody. Um, I mean, this is just a, a cluttered fight in, in total. Doomfist going into the back line, back line of ODU again, but finds purchase onto Cranky Pants, finds another pick with Clorox Nova and she lets as well. Uh, go down and that will be the first point for I HCC. I gotta hand it to HCC there that Doomfist on the side of HCC is really good at getting all the attention on him so his entire team can capitalize off of it. As you notice every time this Doomfist does dive in every person from Old Dominion does get alerted like little AOE radius you, you, like sentry guns and all mark and shoot them. They all run around like little piranhas around little pieces. It of looks meat. like we're going to be getting a pause here initiated by ODU. Yeah. We'll get pause is on the side of Old Dominion. What do you think went wrong in that fight? Um, <clears throat> ODU uh, failed to stay alive. That is usually how most fights end up being lost. Most teams do end up losing their lives on the fight there. It is kind of how it went. Doompist did dive in, but the Somber was kind of uncontested on high ground, just trolling over there. All the split on the focus is down there. Somehow two people do get picked. The May loses the 1v1 to the Zen, and then... I think, I don't even remember who the Doomfist because I think he just slammed somebody who was like 1 HP in a corner, but then Nova tried to peel with that. Two shotguns in the back of the neck. Yeah, all that kind of just happened. Yeah, I, um, not much to say about that first fight. It just kind of collapsed. Yeah, they kind of just gave him 55 like, separate angles. It was like watching two, like, boxers take live fish to their hands and just kind of... I don't know how, like... Oh, they're, they're two live fish, so they got them like out of the water. Well, technically four live fish per boxer because you have one fish on top, one fish on what the bottom. What type of fish are we talking? Um, oh, I thought you meant like on the like the front of the pot. No, like that. that would, no, you just like, punch like, the fish. Yeah, no, that, that defeats thousand. the point. No, yeah, you like, like the so with fish hands, I okay, so you don't know obviously. Yeah, with I'm not fish like hands, familiar with the sport. Yeah, with fish hands, you actually have to tape. Um, I believe it's head on the. Um, Below side, like the uh, the front side, the and then side. the tail uh, is on the front on the bottom, and then you just tape them. Oh, so and instead like a of yin -yang. yeah, and, and instead of punching, you kind of just have to hold like a Superman pose near your opponent, and you have to rely on the fish actually, which is why. So it's like a tag team. Game. Oh, and it looks, it looks like, like we're going back is in. Over. It. Looks like we have a maid duel here. Zenyatta is a little bit of suppressing fire, so the maid really won't win that fight. Like, yes. We are actually managing just to win the fight. Two people down on the side of HCC. I think their monitors forgot to turn on. A little bit unfortunate. Two slow starts. Can this make? Can this be frozen out? Looks like he is going to be sent to the Shadow Realm. Very late stagger there. Erasing the fight there. If you shift, a lot of zoning ults and cooldowns used on the side of both teams. Pretty crazy. I think they just like seeing how the buttons look. That yes. is a pretty big thing that you do like seeing well, buttons go off. With the new suppression update that came out in Overwatch 6.0, uh, you know, the bullets firing past the enemies. Uh, uh, trance comes out three years after Dismissive dies. Sombra still goes down while the trance is active on the side of HCC. Uh, yeah, it's looking like a free flux for Old Dominion unless he does get punched out of it, which my, I have a 50-50 might happen. My big, my big book of uh, bone puns kind of uh, ran dry. Uh, so to yeah, speak. I'm a little so bone I'm, dry on mine as yeah, well. So we're kind of like messed out. I, I, I'm kind of, I'm out of bone puns, but um, that definitely constituted one. Cranky Pants goes down. May ult comes out, and it should find at least one person. The dismissive goes down to the hands of Nova. Yeah, this fight can actually be turned. Very nice that. shield blocking the hack from the somber there. Very well played from Nova. Uh, trying to stay alive. Kiriko only heals uh, against the Reaper right now. It will not be enough. May trying to find something. Hopefully does not get staggered this late into the fight. Uh, we see the uh, Cryo Freeze is on cooldown. Um, so Gilles is going to have to play this very, very safely. Uh, Wall as well is on cooldown. Shulitz is trying to maintain the fight. She is playing the tank way for this fight. Being our tank. Looks like that won't end up working that well out for them. Reaper ult is using the side. The Reaper Friday on a Tuesday coming out again. Two rip Old Dominion, two shreds.
dead with four ults, kind of sad, kind of for scared to use them there. Like, big problem Old Dominion is facing tonight of not pressing the Q button. Pretty bad. Quick, uh, while we have the downtime here, quick question for all you ODU fans out there. Feel free to answer on Twitter, Discord, or any other form of social media you can reach out on. Do you think you could live for a year the size of a peanut? Answers in the uh, comments below. All right, as we go on, Nova has the Sigma ult ready to go. No picks yet. Dismissive goes down. HC Second again with the transcendence. The 78 yeah. days later. Oh. ODU taking space past the payload, forcing HCC to backpedal back to their spawn doors. Nova finding another Nano pick. boost coming out on the side of what? HCC. Trying to keep that guy's KD up. Doesn't look like it will be working too well. Both support ults are used at the end of the fight. Somehow twice in the same fight, used at the end of it. Pretty insane. New versions of Overwatch being played right now. Torbjorn on the side of HCC. That is the, oh, that's, the new yep, killer. They, they whipped out the stupid juice and they're starting to chug. Looks like this missive did just... What is happening? Did just, again, pull out all the attention, but a little too early into the team fight, really to matter. Every time Dismissive dives in like that, I can imagine all of ODU's team just getting the little uh, uh, exclamation parts, like, or exclamation points yeah. pop up over their head and like, da ding Yeah, like, you know how you do like little Metal Gear Solid, yeah. you get up before the box, you just walk past it, Doomfist punches in again. Again, does, like, will he be environmental? Roll, no, pretty he crazy. will not. Honestly, insane movement from the side of uh, HCC's Doomfist. I don't think he's doing it on purpose, but he is kind of just Tony Hawking it around. Has ultimate. We Go still have for Flux, by the way. Been three points. Still have Flux. Not used it yet. Will we see the we Flux come out? Soon. Have a 14th Blizzard coming out. I think he is going to try to freeze Flux. the Blizzard again. Flux comes out. Finds Flux is one. one. Member Flux does is not find a pick. Doesn't actually kill anybody. Honest should go down. Torbjorn is punted down to the ground and beat up for his lunch money. Ripped out. On it on is a... <laughs> No, used on the side of uh, HCC right there. A little unfortunate Suzu used. We do have Blizzard. Are we have an ult advantage right now. We have both Kiriko ults. We do have Blizzard, though. Pretty insane. Molten Core can kind of shut out. Actually, HCC has an insane ult advantage. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> All five ults coming on the side of HCC. Kitsuna used as the engagement there. A little um, bit. Half of it is used already. Blizzard, insane Blizzard, but is marked by the Suzu. Just end up using four ults picks. there. No, three ults. My mistake. Dismissive finds three picks there, kind of solo in that fight. Uh, oh, yeah, well, okay. Large Wipe is going to see the Omnix down there in the bottom bit. Yeah, three ults for one, Will not they too be bad. Able to Pretty touch. In close to touch. We do have beat for the touch. We need to actually use that sword so it doesn't die. Bartsuna does, does die here. It's probably almost a boss fight for Old Dominion. Have Katsuna like coming up really, really short. We have to touch, by the it way, looks guys. Looks like they are guys, scared to, to touch, ju guys. I right, kind of forgot to touch. Did die technically with beat and support ults coming up. Kind of unfortunate. Had Tag Visor. Again, guys, that was a patented C9. I think. Oh, man. ODU leaving no body, no body on the point. No body <laughs> Letting it C9 right in front of their very eyes. I believe I heard them shouting, uh, <laughs> uh, shouting target calls while uh, all members of their team were either in the spawn doors or touching the spawn doors while the payload was uh, quickly approaching its destination. I don't. You know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. When I walked in, I heard uh, a couple people screaming about how they uh, were C9ing, so maybe that was a... a, a yeah, What's we call in the in industry these, in these foreshadowing types of ranks and matches. There is a lot of lack of object permanence here. Yes, so I do believe we are in the gold if it finish isn't in there uh, right MMR. Now. Uh, so we should see a lot of, uh, you know, strategic hiding. Uh, if you go around a corner, you just get in chase. Honestly, you go around if the corner, you could somehow manage right to have you. your character put his hands over his mouth. <laughs> They, that should confuse the enemy. They won't be able to see you like yes, that. Yes, uh, we may see the peekaboo strat like, come ODU out is here. keeping the exact same comp except a Symmetra instead of the May here. Pretty interesting. Wall is a pretty... You know, I would not be surprised if we wing. saw the gaslighting strat come out uh, and say... In, if we see the gaslighting strat come out and chat here, um, ODU may try to convince HCC that they are actually supposed to lose uh, the first point here. I, yeah. I don't know. There's so I many questions. They might just be so throwing little TPs time. at the Widowmaker to scare them into not walking out of spawn. A lot of unconventional yet entertaining strats to watch. It, definitely, we see the Zarya Reaper Widow. Yeah, this is a comp. It looks like this is definitely a collection yeah, of Overwatch Frosty characters. Frosty is ripped apart from Anubis. Does take the left angle, forgets to live there. Actually, swap to a Lari instead of a Mercy. Pretty. You fall back line, normal spike. Have a Zarya here. Kind of going to go ahead Sigma, but Sigma is just a really insane character right now. Lamp. Lamp using the side of HCC. A little bit right there. Looks like we're doing up getting a pick on Cranky Pants. Jump Rat does come out. Rips him apart. Looks like Sigma should be going down next. TP. Excellent TP. 
It does take him out. It does actually help. Yeah, it actually it might did. It actually did help. Pretty funny. Two sim turrets. Hard to break on the side. Looks like they end up finding him. TPU's on the side of Ultimate. HCC no resources with the really on the side approach. of ODU right now. Yeah, ODU's just kind of forced to play in this back corner, which is not a great position to be in on King's Road. Just missing finding the first pick on Chulette's not great. The same going down early in the fight, uh, not getting that high charge with that Zarya just absolutely decimating with that yeah, super high charge beam. Is picked. This is actually turnable. This we do is, have Kitsune ult. We do, do you use Kitsune Will ult? we see the Kitsune, you use this Kitsune come ult. out? Use this Kitsune ult. Will we see Kitsune. it come out in the face of the window Kitsune. as... Okay, Nova Kitsune just is not used out. Pretty okay. big stagger on the side of Old Dominion. Cosmic Frost. He does go one of the characters that is, again, a statified nuke killer in those ranks. Junkrat, Torbjorn, all around the marks there. Pretty insane. Looking like on HCC, we do have Graviton, Ilari, and Tyre coming up. Old Dominion on the side. Do have Flux, Beat. Almost all ults besides Wall coming up. This should actually be a pretty close fight for Old Dominion if we use these ults correctly. But we're going to have to see how that works. We do have a pretty bad habit of not using them. So let's see if we can yes, use them yes. right now. And I do believe before the match started, um, as a handicap, so to speak, uh, ODU said they were going to be using uh, the uh, drum set from Rock Band 3 on the Wii. It's the Alari ult. What a good wow. Incredible ultimate each by it. Nova on the side of that. Looks like Flux well, we can be used. Sigma, will Flux be come used? Out doesn't even need it. Doesn't even need it. Does not need it. No, yeah, you are float, absolutely that, correct. Oh, tire too. Didn't even kept the Flux just as a bonus there too. It's kind of insane, man. I guess I'm like the I'm the I'm the stupid. I must have been drinking the stupid juice you right now. You must have been drinking like, the he, stupid he juice. He holds this right now just to scare him into using everything for it. They're trying to hold ultimates for that. They just say, oh, we have to use it. Doesn't even have to use it. It's yeah. all that. It's three it's, minutes on the clock for Old Dominion right there. Can we get to halfway through fourth point? It's anyone's game, honestly. It's anyone's game right now. Who knows? Uh, Old Dominion does have a does have like a little bit of a time advantage here. Our Sigma comp did kind of rip them to shreds on attack. Have a pretty decent time bank to work with here. As long as they don't get matched on first point and get stuck there for a little bit, this should be pretty strong for the side of Old Dominion. What comp will be running? Let's see. Are we going to keep the exact same comp? Look like a yes. Oh, we keep it a sojourn instead oh, of the, the bastion. Or whatever else they were running on the side of that before. Looks like the Smatcher is still staying. HCC has decided to go with the Junkrat Reaper comp. Holding super close with a poke character as their tank on a bat backline. This is anybody's game. Uh, honestly, this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're just going to speed their Sigma around, get that Sigma to high ground, speed them on. He can mark on kills, make sure their Junkrat Reaper had nothing to do in the game. Should just be crazy. I think they're trying to steal. Oh, wait, actually, I'm looking at the wrong teaming. I keep thinking red is HCC because normally ODU is on the left side. Well, but, uh, yeah. Isn't unfortunate there. That I thought they were trying to steal this metric clock there, but I think they're actually just having a trap on the left side. They <laughs> hopefully a very ODU hidden trap. I, I, I do believe they forgot to press E to hide the trap there. Camouflage right now. Can they walk? They will they will walk use into the that? Sigma swap the Reaper. Camouflage. Swap the Arisa. This might have been the. And okay, they, they do break the trap. trap. Keen eyes, 2020 vision on the side of Old Dominion to mark that trap. TP to the high, high ground. Huge anti from the side of HCCC. I think they managed to look through it, though. Chulich should. Chulich is living. We're actually going to take high ground here. Did steal that from Varsity Overwatch. And they know how to Nova use it immediately there. jumps off of the high ground before any picks come out for the side of ODU. Big anti again from the side of HCC, and it will result in two members uh, of ODU going down. Oh, but but two more go down from HCC. Don't drop. Oh, this goofball ball dropped. Can you kill the Baptiste, though? Ah! But he got ah! ah! He shouldn't even have dropped. Oh, he could have hard carry for his team. But Clark Swipe does mark it back, does kill the Junkrat. This is anybody's point. Symmetra Lucio coming back. This is a close fight. I think they're actually winning. This is insane. Huh? Old Dominion is just the masters of turning fights. Like a little flip turn here. Kind of insane. Ping pong going back and forth, hitting the ball back and forth. Managing to Very nice spear the there from here. Nova. Sigma should go down. I think Aris is about to go down, too. She's just, mm -hmm. just afraid. Oh, we can't win this window on the side of ATC. I don't know if they're actually going to win this. Sigma goes down. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. But on the side of Old Minion, down's like No down team four. is on we the point. ODU could soon. cap don't. if they just. Oh, it looks like Aris is going to go down next. That is super close, but that is two minutes ticking on the side of Old Minion. Not even to get that point. 96, 95.1% going on that. Ah, oh, man. That they do have five ults, technically map. four ults on the side of Old Dominion, but HTC will have Flux, Nano, Reaper, and Tyrant turn. Yeah, that was just a, that was an interesting little fight I got to witness. I'm, I'm on the... I, I'd say I'm on the edge of my seat, but I'm, I honestly don't even know where my seat is anymore. How these fights have been going. I have been the standing this whole time. Oh boy. Flux coming on. Flux actually used. Does tire the bath. Oh, that is a... Two ults for that pick. Three. That was actually kill three. Oh, Whew. man. Great ult there from HCC. Chulette's wall uh, does get kind of mitigated, and we see the swap to Kiriko. But we still have beat. We still have the Orisa ult coming up this fight. 
Honestly, ODU should win this. I mean, if they are able to get that space onto the point and then they can utilize that Orisa ult, this should be in the bag for... Uh, meleeing the air there. Keen Eye, Reaper marked out. Doesn't actually matter, though. They try to Cranky mark it out. Cranky Pants, booping the ulting give Reaper boost, into boost the entire forward. team. <laughs> kind of a... I don't know if we're having some... Like, maybe there's some side bet. Maybe Cranky Pants put all his money on HTC to win this fight, but that's not what you want to see on this last fight. 48 did. seconds on the side of Old Dominion. Look at those ults. We do have the ult advantage, but we end up using these ults early here. We won't actually have an ult advantage for the fight that actually matters in the future, but it shouldn't really matter. We have a wristle coming. We could TP a wristle. They are known to do that a lot. Will they even do that? Will they even touch the point? 23 seconds to C9. Could be possible with how this went before. Let's see how this goes, though. TP trying to go to high ground. This is already in shambles. Beat goes in. Looks like Arisol will be going in after. It does pull three. There is the Arisol. Insane Arisol. Does that mark anybody? Window is about to go down. Oh, no. Tougher sauce does go down. Window on the side. The killer of Old Dominion coming back. Oh, but they managed to mark it back. Oh, I got you in my sights. I've got you in my sights. Takes out 15 people. Taken down. Soldier shoots down. Everybody in the lobby. Crazy. But if you look on the side of HCC, look at those ultimates on the side of HCC. They have nano. They have flux. Depending on how this fight, how long this fight goes, they might actually just get both of those. But we do have Kitsune, and we have Bastion on the side again. We should be holding up a little bit here. I'm kind of scared they're going to C9, too. You yeah. see that guy in the corner? You see that little... Yeah, I saw the blip. The I saw monster. the monster under he's the hiding. bed, and he he's is hiding. getting he's ready gonna, to pounce. He's, he's like pounce. a hunter from Left 4 oh, Dead. Oh, it's Hey, there's a hunter nearby. He is. He's about to go for ready. a charger. He's going for a charger. No, 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 no. They didn't mark the tank. You didn't hear the voice line. You didn't hear the voice cue. Oh, the Reaper does. Excellent boop. But he gets a pick on a cranky pass. We need a Kitsune right this minute. Oh, we use a Kitsune, but it's a little too late. Oh, no. Can Orisa hold his back? Reaper is taking down the side of one man, but Orisa is going down. Solo Kiriko for the. Ah, uh, just didn't Unlucky. mark the hunter on your thing. He does get the insta kill charge off a of bridge. Does get two people down. Nick and Ellis did go down right on that last fight. Had a lot of time bank there, but just kind of made the bad swap into Orisa there. I think if they kept the Sigma, they probably would have just won that fight. But yeah, probably. Um, yeah, just uh, it was a lot closer time. than that first one. Yeah, they are warming up. Oh, that's how this one fight goes. They used, I forgot they used four ult in this fight, but whew, again, there a lot of unfortunate plays just made on that attack. They did just get caught on first point. Not to mention the worst one, but kind of giving that guy a boost into your back line with that little death loss and, and marking yes, it too. Uh, that, being, there's a Reaper behind. Yes. That's just a... That, um, that boop uh, of the ulting Reaper into the entirety of ODU's team was kind of the opposite of diving on a grenade. It was kind of... um. It's kind of like seeing a grenade and saying, insane. oh no, oh, throwing this, into the members yeah, of your trench instead. Like, a, like this, I don't want to This die. could do more damage. I feel like I could be helping out here and <laughs> no, just you kicking you it to the side. You place this wrong, guys. Yeah. You end up putting the claymore in front of your whole team instead of actually just walking Front it. towards friends, not like, enemy. Hey guys, what's this grenade I found? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> like explodes a whole team like that. A little unfortunate... Down two maps, still a reverse sweep possible. I think Old Dominion warms up a tiny bit. They just they just gotta stick with that Sigma comp, I think, honestly. All that should be perfect. Did you see bit. that? I did see that. What was that? I don't know, it was a little pointer thing. It's a little what? weird, but we we are so rude. We have not even introduced our third guest caster tonight. Would you like to do the honors? I kind of forgot his name, I'll be honest. You um well, that's not good because I think I've been generationally cursed for bringing him here. Uh, I well, really you hope you remember his name. From a from, you just came from a sanctuary burial site. Yes, uh, it, I got him from a protected burial site. Um, he said he liked Overwatch. I mean, the voice in my head, he said he liked Overwatch. So I brought him here. We got him a little, a little bit of research. A little bit of paint. Um, do have a, I do have a... I did make do some research on the thing you took after you brought him here. Yeah, looking like you did get the skull of Nonsapwe somehow. You well, got the skull of Nonsapwe, pretty insane burial ritual from that one site right there. That is one of the great kings of their time, by the way. So I, you did uh, just kind of rob a. You didn't just only grave rob a normal sanctuaried burial site. You took it from a royal too. So, I think your entire bloodline might be cursed forever. So I did just touch the skull, and um, I don't think I can feel my heartbeat anymore. So we will take I think a. You uh, gave it. I think the skull has I saw it again. Huh? Yeah, no, nope. I don't feel my heartbeat. Uh, we will yeah, take a. Take a tiny break. Actually, oh, like we actually no, we're right gonna go now. back That's in. I'm gonna okay. see if I can restart this real quick. Get a little bit of the people <laughs> going on right now. Looks like the third match. Circuit Royale coming on the side of OGU. I guess they're going to try to keep that Sigma comp going. They're going to attack again. Nighttime Circuit Royale. Don't know why Overwatch doesn't make every single map nighttime. You would make a million dollars if you just sold Overwatch 2 Dark Mode, but 
Guess they don't want to do that. Blizzard just loves shoveling money into the furnace. But it's A-OK, -okay, looking like five seconds. Will Old Dominion keep that comp? They've been running for that whole point. It's at the last point that really mattered. Let's see. Will we see. Looking like Bat Lucio Sigma Ash on attack. Kind of a weird character on Ash. Oh, we see the Sojourn. Oh, the Ash stays. And Sojourn, uh, Sojourn and Ash is that added. pretty interesting DPS. Sojourn not too bad, but I don't know exactly. I think I like the Ash pick on Circa. It kind of like... It's just enough where you get outranged by the Widowmaker. They have a soldier too that can kind of outrange you a little bit. Sigma on his end's not too bad either. I guess they are trying to just keep that Lucio. It, in theory, uh, the the Ash should be outranging the soldier, but just the amount of damage that soldier can just throw down range. It, it, you have to so kind of play of, the Ash uh, smart. It's, it's a little penetration burst versus a tracking burst. Yeah. So like that soldier can miss his entire clip and do the same damage as uh, Chulith missing 17 shots. And then exactly. Exactly. Kind of a little bit in there. Taking the attack here. Lucio, I guess they're going to try to speed on that high ground. Uh, Lucio sure will, but it appears that every other member of ODU is going to uh, oh, split off. Oh, I didn't off. even notice. It seems like Dismissive, they made a little bit of a roll swap again. Dismissive on DPS instead of tank this fight. On Widowmaker, I think his monitor did turn off. Looks like he is standing the same exact way. Same with Martin here. Field advantage on the side of HCC. Both cooldowns used by Every cooldown used by the side of HCC. Could just walk on the Sigma, but Lamp is used on the side of Old Dominion. Like, pretty insane cooldowns being used by both teams. Sigma, this Sigma should go down here from HCC, but I did see that little flanking uh, character on the side of HCC getting ready to... Uh, Watch what I say. Who's that character that's flanking right I now? Don't I don't know. I, don't know I, saw, I saw it. I'm You're not crazy. Clip that. that. Guy, that guy I there. saw or him. You didn't see anything. I did. I think the skull is messing with your mind. I d uh, okay, looks I like we do actually have a pretty sizable flux advantage right now. Again, this Ash can't really get that much value. The Lucio somehow has 67 to beat in like a minute and a half. I don't really know if that's even possible, but it does get picked on the side of Old Dominion. Just that Widowmaker is just going to be uncontested the entire match unless Anubis can manage to build a rail and pop her in the skull across the map. But that would I don't know if that's going to be really happening. Yeah, just Sigma on the side of that. They did bring their dedicated like Sigma Grimm's player in, too. Grimm's well. just so sad from that last performance he managed to get off. I think that guy closed the game. I do. Leader of the I game do as well. believe so. Yeah, uh, just that Zen, too. I forgot. I didn't even mention the Zen. They just have that Discord on the Sigma, whoever they decide to pick for it. It's going to get ripped apart. Yeah, there's all those cooldowns used on the side of nobody even crossed the side. It's just a completely uncontested, uncontested push to the high ground from ODU, but it will not matter. Two members from ODU go down to Yamei own dismissive. Chulette's finding, I believe, uh, finding well, a pick on their the Zenyatta. The first pick, pick of this there, uh, But map. that's perfect. You have a spawn advantage on the side of Old Dominion. If you can just manage to live, not get murdered by Yameo running into your back line, you can just set up for this next fight and go in. You have Flux coming up. Decent Very decent. nice. Two pick. picks on the side of it. Chulette's proving me wrong. Very pick. nice pick. Can we make that four? Chulette's oh, popping like off used. here. Ah, oh, it does get picked from a stupid character across the map. Unfortunate. Did run the whole team for her thing, though. Got that whole point basically by herself. But Dismissive is showing how easy that character is. Just, just get two picks on the guys walking in straight lines. Does this manage to work out? Doesn't really know. Uh, Zenyatta, one HP. Does get three picks. Stupid that goofball. Widow is going uncontested. And absolutely I'd flux his Widowmaker right about now. Yeah. It's looking like it's getting to about that point. The rest of HCC's team is uh, getting ready to regroup with the Widow. I still believe that Widow is up there just causing mayhem. Uh, no, the Widow is back with... No. Where is the Widow? Widow's back top left right now. It does take the normal Widow oh, spot. See, but we do it. manage to get three corners off of Destiny's pain four picks here. All that going in. Zenyatta on the side of it. We have five bolts. Will we use any of them? Looks like Flux. No, they're not a Flux. Looks like we are forgetting. Sigma might go down. Window, window coming out. out. Pretty backwards huh? window. Does manage to pick one, though. He's actually funny enough on the side of both. Rock missed on the side of HCC. Does actually use the strength for it, though. We have Bob very, very shortly. Could Bob. Would Bob. Should Bob. Not Bob. BP's on the side to mark that right there. All that right about now. Can we get that Sigma pick right now? We have the ultimate advantage. Ah, uh, I just dump everything at this point. Just make sure they die. You can't lose this fight. Your are is down. I would lose that ultimate right about now. Sigma is very, very low. Can he die? Looks like he's not dying. Oh, no. Ultimate oh, no, to guys, Bob guys, still guys, in the Bob, Bob finally, finally comes finally out. Hit the Zenyatta. That's very what nice Looks pick like they there C9, too. Perfect C9 from the side of Old Dominion. Just grabs that point because everybody's so afraid. They're running back for their lives. We get that point taken off. Jesus Christ, man. I do man. believe that All was that five right ult. Now. And five the switch to, to Widowmaker point. from Anubis. Okay, looking okay. like he decided he can't gap that guy. Has swapped again. He makes sense. On the Lucio again. May again on Circle Royale. Now you just have no... You just have Pope. Entirely with your Lucio. Back to Ash. Decided to 
Lee is not looking too good right now. Widowmaker does pick the side of Lucio again. I, I make that a bingo card at this point. I'm gonna have these guys been picked first by that guy. Jeez, man. They have that corner right now. Rock. Every cooldown used to get on the side. I think the ship's gonna come out in five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, there goes that ship yeah, right now. All those cooldowns taken out. Almost everything down. Sigma on the side of that too. Cranky Pants does put back in blood. Does rip that Widowmaker a new, new pair of way pants. to the spawn doors. Right there. All that sacrifice is used on the side of HCC. Does pick up three. Genji's ripped apart in the one v one by he should should not be not the name. Yes. All that gone right about now. <laughs> Super trying to run for his life. Not gonna work out. I think that guy is gonna be sent to the lunchroom. Actually manages to get out. He Will needs he get out? to die. He cannot no, die he's here. He's okay. He's perfect. Okay. That guy is okay. not too. Good I shouldn't good. have doubted. Man, just make it out with his Let's life. see if they are going to contest the high ground. This push, they Anubis do. Ana goes down very, very early on in the fight to the hands of Anubis, making it a 4v5 situation early on. Nova finding it's another like, pick. 3 like v 5 actually swapped that. Yeah. Looks like insane. this is a very good push here uh, from o ODU. He who shall not be named goes down, uh, and it's a very nice stagger there on to dismissive. To yeah, that just wrap up should that be fight. this point pretty close. We have this like, entire flux spike right now. They have flux coming up. They don't have anything else. We have flux, we have beat, and we have window. If we lose this fight, bad, bad things are going to happen for the rest of this team here, I promise. Looks like every cooldown was used. Doesn't actually hold that rock for I think he missed, though. Yeah, he just whiffed. Unfortunate. Didn't even use beat. Flux used on the side. I think that just picked up Very good flux. Dominion. And he gets rocked out of it. Ah, oh, man. A little bit of a gap here. We do have the Kaluj versus TTG Icarus type sick mule here right now. Unfortunate right there. All those two marked out. We actually do end up winning the fight. Flux didn't even matter. Kind of a zoning flux. Still have beat in reserve. Don't know if we actually used that. No, we actually have used that once this entire point as well. We have used that at yes, first Yes, I point. do believe we Keeping did our bingo counter once. cover now. Guy is beat to death in a corner. Reminds me of some things I don't want to get into on stream, but boy, <laughs> all that right now. Do have the tag visor, do have the beat, do have Ash coming up on there with Bob. Enemy team does have both DPS and nano boost and window coming up very, very shortly. Not too bad. Kind of a better support ult here, but we do have the attack visor. All he has to do is just flank. They're all playing main. Nobody's taking high ground. Do a little funny flank around the corner and just kill four, but let's see if our soldier can mark that and realize how to do that. That will be something to see. The Rock smacking the corner in front of the Sigma. Uh, ultimately a mind game move. Will we see the Bob come out here early so ODU can push forward? There's the window. That is a good time to push in. Start committing. You are so close to ending this fight, Bob. We should see yeah, Bob come out here. Does he actually flank? Did he take the flank like I said? Oh, the, mar the martyr of Odominion coming and taking it for his team. Bob does clutch it up. Actually, funny thing enough, Bob is probably one of the best players on both teams because he doesn't have to aim. He can hit every shot perfectly there. Reinhardt coming Reinhardt. in. Desperation Reinhardt play. Kind of show his shield, trying to intimidate the people off a point. Didn't really work out too well. Both ripped apart two shreds. Reinhardt's <laughs> actually living. I, I don't actually know how this guy's alive yet. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, they're winning the team this fight. This is uh, No, but Kirigo is marked okay, out. Chulitz is the martyr here. Reinhardt is finally down. Chulitz just takes the matters into her own hands. Rips out. him apart. Beat comes out. BM beat. All in right there. Lucio actually on a taken out. Point is capped for the side of the man. 40 seconds on the board, but they actually managed to cap the point. I gotta say, that's perfect. Very nice. But Very well done. let's not get too ahead of ourselves right now. Old Dominion did lose last time. They did cap three points. This could be a, a little Shanghai versus Toronto Defiant 6-6 six to six type scenario, 6-7 six to seven type scenario if we get on that right now. That is something I do not want to see. I uh, think if anything else goes out they might be too tired they might be too bone tired to keep going the distance so they keep going a little bit too much uh, tell you what my my brain is bone dry and i think i've made that pun about 17 yeah times i think already. you are running out of bone puns you're down to basically a yeah, skeleton think of one right now okay right now. That, was, that was pretty good it was all right was, i mean yeah it wasn't the best it wasn't the yeah. one very humorous but it got the job done I didn't really have my heart in mind. I didn't really have a heart to put in mind, But it's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Are running in right now. Sigma comp again. They're running an on a Kiriko backline on Circle Royale. I guess both teams decided Zenyatta was not a good character. A-OK. -okay. Reaper on the side of HCC. Will he TP into the backline and rip them apart? Who knows? Doomfist on the side of HCC as well. I guess they decided that three points have been capped and they will automatically lose every fight in the Sigma mirror. I guess they thought that three points means you automatically lose. Doesn't actually work that way. It's A-OK -okay, though. Soldier on there. Ana, Kiriko, backline on both teams. I didn't even notice that. This is this is something. Doomfist on the side of HGC. Will he be going over the top left roof? Let's see if he decides to do a little funny junk rap play. Looks like the Reaper might be doing the same thing, honestly. He might be going for a little back left. He actually decides to TP. Or he's just going to try to mark the heck out of this thing right now. Can we see it? Big poke from both teams. Just a little bit of poke a rock right now. 
Yeah, it looks like Nova is backing away in mortal terror right now. Walking back, pretty afraid. Decides to go on the point. Reaper's deciding to just punch. I think Doomfist just punched under them. I think he decided. I think he punched in like a little piece of red tape there. It does get ripped apart for his then. Does a pull dismissive and runs to their back line. 14 alert bombs just go off and they rip on him as they should. All that's marked out. We do just have the Sigma advantage. I think there will be a swap with Sigma. Or not. They are trying to keep that Doomfist here. I wonder if they realize top left is an angle that can be taken. I think if they go top left, the entirety of ODU will crumble. But let's uh, let's hope they do not realize that's an astounding that revelation. That is the key to winning this first point, of them actually doing anything on their comp. They're trying to take point against a super Doomfist. Decided to punch in. Doomfist does yeah, absolutely nothing. And it anti port but actually managed to get their Reaper picked out somehow. Anti on the side of on Soldier really shouldn't matter. It looks like Doomfist is punching. Misses again. Yet again, be the ripped apart of for ODU punching the whole team. Onto him. Yeah. Yikes. Anubis finding a pick on Cosmic Frosty. This is just kind of leaving HCC in shambles. I, I, I'm i kind of surprised we have not seen the switch off of Doomfist yet. Or yeah, at I least the switch in, in I think there might have been a coaching intervention right now. He's like, you have to run that Doomfist. We need it for the mark. Mercy coming out for the soldier, I think. Hopefully for the soldier. I don't think they're going to be damage boosting the punch on top of the gate. That'd be crazy. But it looks like this missive is ripped apart by Clorox. Why pull the tap across the corner? All that's in. They're going to get punched out of flux here, I think, in five seconds. Rez comes out on Punch soldiers. Should we flux? Should we flux? Should we flux? I, I we do flux? believe we should. Uh, the Q button memories. does exist on Nova's keyboard. I checked myself. I Mana comes out. Here. I try to mark the rest of the team here. It's like Doomfist does with every cooldown, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't go with the Meteor Strike. Should beat up whoever is up there. Yeah, Grandma is beat to a corner. Like that one scene off of Black Dynamite. Gets that purse ripped off. All that's ripped apart. Doomfist does come in. We could use a single ult here. We're down with five, basically. Oh, we let that Doomfist just, just absolutely yeah, walk we, anywhere again, we just he have wanted. That big spooky problem of one like, mm, we down one player, the fight's over. Decided yeah, not to use the, any ultimates in it again. It's we we saw we saw the Nano Doomfist, and it, it, it was just kind of like seeing a ghost end up. Or seeing a, a yeah, it's like a dangling ghoul. a bunch of keys in front of a toddler. Like a ghost goblin ghoul comes up with a nano boost, comes in right there. Tony Pumpkin is there to actually win the fight. All that goes in. We can't flux this back line though. Will we go flux? We do touch. We do touch. Don't use the flux though. Cap. Artist on point. Honest should die. Now we do with every card. Does get that Very nice insane rock. rock though. Pretty crazy. And he stays Bob's alive. Character. Both DPS ults are the only thing he's used on the side of holding. Can't put both support ults on the side as well. Still contesting the point, not Should letting the HCC over, though, cap. Pretty shortly. Bob is there over. Is. Yeah, all that's done. Chulitz is just oh, marked up. A little again. clean up there. Again, ultimate, he just has to use ults. Like, not not really much to say besides you guys need to press your Q buttons because those Q buttons are, are pretty crazy. Not a great time to get picked there. Uh, it's like no button. He's is making sure these guys can't push up too far. It looks like the soldier will go down. I think these guys, again, are really afraid of things in their back line. They don't know how to do a turnaround. It's like the Valk or Nerez did not go up. That does not make you invulnerable, actually. That only just makes you fly around a little bit. Both teams taken out, but the team actually does manage to get a little bit of cart progress while Old Dominion is in their spawn door looking around, admiring the scenery. Again, this map's pretty pretty. So I guess it is kind of getting a little marked here. They're looking at the skyline, all that. Cart's still being pushed, by the way. Just letting y'all know that. Fight's been over for 15 minutes. We're getting to get on cart. Oh, that's marked out. Wraith using the side of HEC. Will it matter? Dismissive comes out. Because the advantage that picked their Kiriko. It's going to not use it. Will we use Flux? No. Will we use a single war, guys? Well, what ultimate do you think Ultimate will be using in this fight? I think the Fair issue... Ultimate shouldn't be even used in this fight. Actually, it could be turned. The fact that that soldier is picked... I think I think the issue here with Nova use your is ult, that use your ult, use your ult, if, use your ult. If he does not see the ultimate, you know, efficient use of his ultimate, he doesn't want to use it. Like it, it, it's, it's. I think he's looking for six players. Yes, like that's right what I'm now. saying. He's to flux. Okay, flux the whole team. Finally, he gets he two oh, members. Really he, like, Finds two picks. picks. Hey, you, you could have done that five minutes ago and lost all that car progress from even happening, but yeah. Clean Mercy movement looks the exact same as any type of Mike Mercy. Does the little fly slide there. Yeah, it does rip apart for their sins. It rip the pout. He who shall not be named is sent to the dirt where they belong. <laughs> All that is done there. Looking like we have, again, Nano Boost attack visor coming up and Bob coming up to the side of Old Dominion. Both support ults. Both Nano Boost coming up out here, but we will have both DPL's ults faster and Meteor Strike coming in pretty shortly. Yeah. Like I was saying, Nova's issue, I feel like, uh, with his ultimate uh, usage is if, if it's not close to 100% efficient use of his ult, he does not want to use it. it. He's waiting way, way, way too long for the most opportune moment. Bad scenario for him to be in there. Looks like that Nova's on the Reaper does come out. Will he go for that Death Blossom? Looks like no. Looks like he is Sniper Monkeying right now. Does manage not not going to like to pick besides the Ash. Pretty bad pick, honestly, in the side of that. We can't Nano Boost we can't use. We can't use Tac Visor. We can easily turn this fight. We need to use something here. Nano comes out on the soldier. Nano tech visor. Nano visor coming in. 
Oh, he does oh, get slept though. Cosmic Frost. They need to stay on the point. They cannot see nine the point. Ah man. They finally use their ults. I realize another point of ODU's like issue is they decide that one person uses ult and they immediately use four ults in conjunction yeah. with that. It's like a domino effect uh -oh. at this point. Yeah, again marked out. Two ults does manage to spawn late every fight and just get ripped apart. Oh, Looks no. like Torbjorn coming on the side of Old Dominion. Noob Killer marked out right now. It doesn't really matter to their comp. No one on their team is going to really be dying to turret besides maybe that Mercy or Reaper, but Reaper's going to try to sniper monkey that. Crazy turret spot on the side of Old Dominion. <laughs> that thing is going to be marked TF2 the entire turret team placement right, now. right there. I think he is trying to build a two level three. I think he forgot. Turret is ripped apart. I, I do believe on Anubis has part. the Wrangler equipped, so he will be able to use those manual shots to hit a longer the distance. Frontier, I think he has the Widowmaker. Uh, yes, the that is a Widowmaker Wrangler build the right there. Right that is a very rare build not seen in competitive play. I'm excited to see how it plays out here. Uh, the soldier on the high ground posing a challenge to Chalette's trying to find an angle. Oh, Anubis like getting a pick on Tougher Sauce. Picks tougher sauce than that. Huh. The sauce is tough enough. Not enough Scoville units on the side of that. Ripped apart. Looks like the Ash does come out to help her team. Actually managed to take high ground. That's not a, what HGZ did on their fight at all. They decided all the group main and look at all now there. But we actually have high ground this fight. Pretty insane. Doesn't really matter if they get oh, turned no. to pick. The HGC is like realized like, hey, we guys can go high ground. They decided to go beat up and they just kill four with Mercy Pocket. I did with that even with Tac Visor. Dead with four ultimates, basically oh, no. again. Sigma's gonna die really late. Will he flux? This is the probably the worst time to flux in the game. I okay, thought he pressed he the button. It. I thought no. he pressed the button. No, but we'll have faith be, we have to be Nova. able to touch here at this point. Will we see nine like last time too? No. Well, we have to go now. Guys. Okay, they're gonna just. Uh, just Kitsune wait. out. Bob does Good come Bob. out pretty bad. Uh, Kitsune is used though. Bob does have a decent angle, but I don't think he has a good enough angle up there. Yeah, this is kind of lost right there. The flux comes out. Oh, he He's able to touch. To touch. Well, there is a chance. No, there's not. There's no touch. No chance. Higher time make on HCC. By 12 seconds. By 12 seconds. But that's just a mental breakage right now. I hope that doesn't get under the skin too hard. Yeah. I mean, we saw, I saw um, improvements in ultimate usage, and I've seen it every single map so far, but it's just something's not there. Uh, they, they, one member of ODU falls, and it's like a, a glass house, you know, yeah, you, it's you like crack one wall and you know. It's like you go to a bunch of right baby analogy. goats. You have like a little bit of like you have like a you play an air horn. They all fall down. They have their legs in the air. It's like that. But instead of like playing an air horn, you Stupid. like brutally murder one of them and like the rest of them, like their legs just go up. That's kind of how it's going Dumb. inside Bull Dominion right now. Same thing like that too. You have like one bull charging. All the other bulls are like, hey, I can do that too. Like herd mentality, all that. Let's see if we can manage to get through that. This is the time to reverse sweep. If Old Dominion wanted to put in any cards to win right now, this is the time. They need to do that right now. Look like a Widowmaker's part on the side of Old Dominion. Will Anubis be comfortable in their shots? It's like HCC is running a Reaper Ash here right now. Oh, Dakota looks like Dakota came in very oh late to this match. Ash Mercy on we the side may throw the rule book at HCC to try to get this. <laughs> We're looking for anything at this point, guys. Any, anything to help us win. Uh, we, we do take sponsors, um, much like in the Hunger Games. If you feel like uh, donating, we will send ODU something they desperately Let's need. Let's get the Old Dominion meal going, guys. Yes, the ODU meal at uh, yeah, ODU McDonald's, meal at hashtag McDonald's ODU Burger meal. Uh, Spam that on Twitter. Uh, don't forget about the question, could you survive a year the size of a peanut? Uh, as we're getting into the first fight here. What do you guys press the button? Looks like Lucio is picked on the side of Old Dominion. Lucio is taken down right now. I don't know why they love that Lucio so much on this point. I don't think Lucio is the... I think Lucio might be the worst support you can play on this comp besides maybe Moira, but I think they are just trying to stick to their guns. You do have that coach that just does bark at them every single time to keep a certain comp playing and they are stuck. Uh, yeah, they just have the Widowmaker. Widowmaker hasn't gotten the pick yet. He's pulling a Joker Joy right now, missing every single shot. Kind of unfortunate. But we do get the pick on the Reaper. If we can live enough here, we have the land come out pretty crazy. That but Anubis, Anubis getting that two up. picks. It's two picks proves me completely wrong. That is wrong. huge. That is the Widowmaker difference. Again, in these lobbies where nobody knows how to press A and D. Very nice. The Widowmaker is a martyr here. That Widowmaker just won the entire fight for uh, ODU, I want to say. Taking um, oh uh, two members of the back line, letting Nova push front. Excuse me, push forward. Yeah, just and actually that take that space. Honestly, on this point too, that's a pretty good distance already. Yeah, at this yeah. point already, getting out of that first second corner on the side of Old Dominion is crucial. Now you just have a round like you basically only have one fight still, but that fight is going to be heavily in the defense favor. Looking like almost see. a pick on the Mercy too, a little bit just too close to actually get the shot, but you can't get a pick here. Ash does get a pick on Cranky Pants again. Where's that bingo card? Uh, <laughs> I think I got bingo. Bingo, bingo. Oh, we do get a pick on the Pats. He's dismissive. Does get the one tap with the Mercy boost. Unfortunate. Oh, does get the nice pick. Chulitz clutch up. Will Chulitz clutch up? Chulitz. Got to reload. Switching to your side arm is always faster than reloading. 
Yeah, but it looks like the Glock didn't have the actual. Only had the uh, the backscatter. Didn't have actually the uh, the shortstop. Actually, those are two primaries. My mistake. Now the Mad yeah, what? Himself healed. I think the shortstop's a secondary. Yeah, it's a, it's a four no, shot. the shortstop is the uh, the four shot. It's the one that shoves. Uh, yes, the, the shove the one. Yeah, it's the one that used to give you more health, but they reworked it. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Looking like Old Dominion is on the side. Can actually have two fights if they manage to die extremely early, which could be a thing. Looks like HC, if they run that Doomfist comp again, if we lose to a Doomfist comp on Circle Rail or cry. comp, I might burst into tears, guys. I uh, know. I'm telling you, I will cry. Like, on stream. Uh, <laughs> I... Arissa right or Arissa Reaper? Like HTC is running Arissa, trying to just get cart. I think they're just trying to try to live on cart here. At this I point. We'll do have believe on the, side of the, minion. the varsity match is starting here. I don't care. I'm trying to see this fight I, right no, now. No, that's this, what this I'm trying to see this, see right this right as well. This is the match to see. We'll be moving to varsity if this match actually does end up winning in ODU's favor because we'll have to swap to varsity per our contracts. <laughs> which if we actually manage to not play varsity stream games, we will be taken out back and lashed. We for will sense. be sent to a farm upstate. Uh, yeah, I don't be working on the told. fields for the rest of my life, so let's hope this match actually does end up in Old Dominion's favor. If we can win, and then we can go to the varsity match versus Shenandoah, match 2C. But this match is anybody's game. They have the Zenyatta, actually. They have picked the trump card character, Zenyatta, to just discord the tank or whoever they decide to go on, but that does require a little bit of target focus. Widowmaker on the side of both teams. It's just going to be a Widow battle. Honestly, whoever can get the most picks here at the start. But Nova actually doesn't know how to AD straight. That's a... Good job already Excellent. on that side. Yes. Wall on the side of Arissa, but Arissa is probably one of the only characters that can really flip through a wall like that. Zenyatta Zin is super his out of out, position. But I think the Sigma will oh, die for no. it. Actually, man, just to push their Sigma. It was like a, the red down. flag for the bull, and he just charged straight yeah, through it. Lose the Anubis Anubis goes but we down. do have this is the thing about it. We do have the time to win for another fight. We just can't die really late. Almost wall his own Ana. <laughs> Ana is trying to. Ana needs to get the heck out of there. I don't know what they're trying to get an angle here. We need to run, uh, run for your lives, guys. I don't. I want Mark to drive. I'd run as far away as possible. That cart is not moving close now. It's not about to cap in five seconds. You guys have time. You guys can live. All right, looking like the Sigma is back. Good enough for a Mark here. Reaper coming Trying right not to face check Gotta that hope Reaper. we gotta pick this Widowmaker. Ah, oh, another gap on the side of Old Dominion. That is looking crucially bad, but we still can win this. Ah, uh, Suzu is used out. Doesn't actually get the Suzu on the Sigma either. Crank Pants is going to far and both supports are down. That's looking like a lost fight for the mini, which will end up making the move this mage match versus Highlander from Mini College. Unlucky. That is just how it, that is how the cookie crumbles. Unfortunate. Forgot to use those Q buttons. Baby goats, all that. Herd mentality. Ah! That was my baby goat noise. That's a pretty good impression, man. Yeah, GG's you. on that. 0-3. Unfortunate showing, but... Every, every team has a bad day. A little bit of a fluke. Looks like we will be going into a little bit of a cast chain as we wait for the varsity match to start versus Shenandoah. Unfortunate 0-3, but it's all that happens there. It's, 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 it's no biggie. It's no biggie. It is Mace no is biggie. Mace is still going on. Yes. I think that's only the, one of the only losses that Mace has even had on the side of the JV varsity. So just like, I don't even know if they're in Mace. Whatever tournament they're in, I think it's only one of the only losses they've had. So Yes. So, but we will, we are going to take a short break, but stay tuned. We are going to see varsity play against Shenandoah University. I'm excited. Uh, I am quite excited. Don't go anywhere.
Tried and tested our patience, but we're finally rewarded with the <laughs> game of Overwatch. I'm not sure if you can call that much a reward, but... We are rewarded by going to eternal pain and agony and suffering. This is the Shenandoah Academy. 
Academy versus Old Dominion Varsity Overwatch coming in for this mace match. I don't think the other one was mace, but this is M A E C. Who cares? One hundred percent. That's this is um, definitely mace. So we're Should be nearing the, the hour delay them. mark. Uh, apologies again for that, folks. For the five people waiting here. Circumstances. Is, is we had match. well, no. Apparently, there was five on both sides waiting. Uh, we were just waiting, waiting on, on one a sub, player. guys. Yeah, um, we were just waiting on a sub. I'm not know sure how that, that works, scenario hey, 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 Okay, guys. Hey, okay. Uh, we, all, we all got places to be. No one's got places to be. I'm yes, apparently play. Shenandoah is in Ireland right now. Yeah, we are um, in the great city of Dublin. Going yes. To this match, so and hopefully the, uh, the entirety of the southeastern hemisphere servers uh, completely went down. So <laughs> we may see <laughs> that come into play here in tonight's match. Uh, I've heard that a few people from Shenandoah have had a few pints. That's probably why it took a little bit. One them was sleeping on the job took about an hour to get him to wake up a little bit that's what happens you take all that ireland I believe they can be charged with there. a uwi i don't really think wall they can ulting wall intoxicated <laughs> oui maybe overwatch under influence unfortunately oui uh, yeah oui yeah. well honestly <laughs> you kind of need to be a little bit drunk to play this game if i'm being for real so it's not too bad the game makes me Every time I play, I can only have a blood alcohol. I have to have my blood alcohol limit four times the legal limit to actually cue the game. So, I do believe no that's the, the same legal uh, limit as a ethanol, like pure the chemical. Yeah, ethanol. but like the legal limit here is like again four you, times lower. I think than if you the got a cut Ireland, so at that level, your blood would just evaporate. Like no, I think it, it would it just it. it's like rubbing alcohol, bro. You like you you spray like your own blood. It's like disinfecting it. your kidneys. Yeah, but like it's my own blood disinfecting it. Like you don't want to. Like, it's like draining cleaning, the cleaning solution. You just got to make it to clean your body. Gotcha. It's like helping your liver do stuff. That basically. makes sense. Um, oh dear, oh dear, uh, game lords. How is the uh, lobby looking? Okay, the lobby's looking weird. I'm expecting a forfeit if all five players from Shenandoah. They're here and waiting, so I don't think there's gonna be a forfeit going. Sorry, on, but it's a okay. We're waiting on ODU now. Looks like we're waiting on Old Dominion University. All right, big well, plot I will twist. be right back. I'm going to go drink a few more pints, guys. We'll be back with an actual short break this time very, very shortly. My cast is going off to yell and cry. We'll be back with a short break pretty shortly, and then we'll be back with a match for the first one. See you all there.
blood alcohol. Oh, we're, we're back. Lee Jang Tower in here looking like a waiting for players. Sorry, we had a couple players uh, perusing the shop for new skins. What is Gotta going? Get that Witch Kiriko guy is only in the shop for one week. You know, I did see it on uh, the screen. Not sure if it changed before I came back here, but um, all of the spectators are all team spectators. I would have them to believe you, but it looks like we're flying around the map. So no, I that's no. How that works. We're all team spectators. Their subs are as well. Are we all spectating ODU or like we're all, all spec? All spec. Yeah, we've done that for every match, Matt. I don't think they're actually going to be like taking any greens. Oh, I don't only, know. Only, only we can have all spectator. Only We're the only people allowed with it. SU is running a Orissa Bap Lucio comp. Can I have better point presence? Looks like we're running Sigma. Everything's the exact same except the Baptiste the Bastion for a May. Looking like we aren't even going to TP point, so... I guess we're going to take poke on the right side. We have no game audio, unfortunately. That got lost in transmission somehow. <laughs> I mean, in the one hour, it just decays. It's like so. the match about to be restarted anyway. So that, oh, that's interesting. Chill with Chill with Wait. Wait. Wait, guys. Oh, Jesus. Wait. Christ. That's so loud in my ear. No. It's like probably normal oh, everybody else. Oh, like, Sorry. All right. Verify is throwing a wrench and everything. Looks like we're walking point. They're just going to TP point. Looks like may take a little bit of a split. You use the may wall to get to five extra. It didn't even really matter. The exact same position of the team. Now they just don't have may wall. Sim on the side of uh, SU is honestly just going to be able to get cool charge. Take an angle here. Not too bad, but they just have massive point. Though. Looks like Lucio's running in. Lived from that nice shot from the Baptiste. Actually managed to win this fight. All knocked off. Again, some of the players on the side of Shenandoah might be four times the legal limit. They are in Ireland, probably getting crunked off their minds. I wish that was me right now. But ODU won the team fight. That we are a first fight winning team on the side of Varsity. Usually win the first fight. Let's see if we can keep that. I know the retake on this team is atrocious. So let's see if we can actually do that in the march here. Looks like the enemy team is walking left side white. Normal Legion tower garden positioning right now. We have to take angles. You can actually say anything here, we can actually take an angle here. It looks like A is the only one really in an angle that's playing this technically main. So it doesn't really matter all too much. It's like they are faking it. They did walk right. Guy just did get impaled through a wall. Pretty interesting wall. Actually getting insane value from like, I think a wall like that. On top of Baptiste. So Baptiste is pretty good. That's kind of cool. Good lamp down the side of Ultimate and SU. Windows on both sides. Looks like Odie will lose this fight though. Flux is a little too late. Um, ODU has lost the team fight. Yeah, that's a pretty normal tried and true method for Old Dominion. Win the first fight, lose the second one. Kind of like, third. this is a history book right now going on. Kind of just a routine. Looking like we have a pretty sizable ult disadvantage. They ended up using Window and Flux on a fight where they only used Window. Simwall coming up for the side of Shenandoah. Going to be almost a fight win on its own. Blizzard might be a pretty crucial ult if they can manage to go quick enough, but I don't really know. Have the Blizzard advantage. Artillery is ready. It does come out uh, almost immediately straight on to ODU. Um, May ult does come out. And just uh, on the side of him. I shouldn't do it. Four actually. Keep walking into the Blizzard. Very nice. Insanely bad play from such a And a wall Falls from the point. Team. This guy's a goofball on the side of all the men. A little bit of troll. Silly Ended up using little Blizzard goose. on that too. They ended up using Beat. And that's about it on that fight. Both teams didn't actually beat. I thought it was a beat spot here, but we actually got beat for Blizzard and Arissa and Simwall. Looks like Shindo should win this next fight. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, looks like they messed up their uh, TP play here. I think only half the team actually had TP there. Lucio got cut off a little bit and won that fight too. Another fight won on the side of Old Dominion. No ults used on the side of SU, pulling an Old Dominion Junior Varsity right now. Not using a single ult on the side. Looking like we are going to have Window coming up and another Blizzard pretty shortly, close to Bastion as well. SU should have an ult advantage here with four. Looks like we're holding up a little too close in my opinion. And just get walled and ran over where it's at right now. So decides to walk back in time. Looks like enemy team should be walking right now. I don't know if they have time actually. Looks like they might just TP point honestly. I don't think Xbox is set up for the boot. Will we see it? Uh, we will not. They are going to walk all the way around. That Wall comes out on the side of SU Sim uh, as well as the May ult. No numbers have gone down. Beat comes out on the side of ODU and Window is ready to go. Not ho holding on to the Window this late in the fight as Index goes down. Joey Joey finding a pick by Adelot will soon fall as well. Uh, overtime on the point. I guess did we just use. Did ended we up just using use win Window and Beat for that fight. Ended up not using the uh, lamp, unfortunately, there. So we could have actually saved both of us and May, I guess. 
Might have thought they used it already. Unfortunate play. Not too bad on the side of Ultimate. We still have Flux, Blizzard, and Bastion coming up. But SU has the Blizzard and Beaten 2. Should have actually not even close to Blizzard. My mistake there. I thought that was a 70 for some reason. Only 50 to beat. This should just honestly be a really good fight for Ultimate. Both DPS ult. It's Flux coming up very, very shortly. Just can't get that angle or just trolled at any time. Okay, looks like Shinodo is just letting them take all that angle right now. Ultimate was, Shinodo was setting up for a few. Kind of just gave up on the side. Walked with our here. Clean cut, shift already used, three blizzards coming in from the side of the minion. Lamp taken out already, this is what you want to see if you're on the side of the minion. All those taken out, three frozen, again, another insane blizzard from the side of index on the minion. Should win this fight, because Lucio Rissa just got actually took these targets taken out. Flux is no one, a little brute, all it is. Actually, chance for a retake on the side of the minion. Shenandoah ends up trolling a little bit on the retake. But over time, we'll be trickling down. I don't think anybody else can get a touch besides Tracer. We call it now. Swap. This is just pure stall at this point. Don't really think they have a chance to really turn this fight at this point. Both teams are taking out just a Tracer with no recall left. In I'm typical uh, Shenandoah fashion, they are stalling uh, everything as long as possible. Uh, maybe they will be able to stall this whole thing for maybe, I don't know, close to 50 minutes? Looking like Oh, they no, did. they can't. But they. Who do you does win the match? All this the stalling round. power. That is the first point taken for Ultimate. They were a little mad. I think they're using this time to actually warm up at this point. So it might actually I mean, they had an hour or two, so I don't yeah, see like, why would, they didn't do it they then. Did. But yeah, that's the first point given to Old Dominion. Still anybody's game. Circuit right. I'm not sorry. Control Center coming in right now. Do we keep the Sigma? We're going to swap to the Orissa. Let's see. Actually, not keeping the Symmetra swap here either. I think the enemy team should be tracing the. Should be swapping the Symmetra here instead of the Tracer. I think for Shenandoah. We'll get to White Room first, but I don't think Old Dominion really cares. Looks like they're swapping Junkrat and May. Both teams should get there at the exact same time, but Old Dominion will have a less a bit of an advantage. Looks like Jogodo is on the TP here. I think he's actually going to be the sim for this comp. Uh, yeah, with uh, Index on the May, I don't really see a reason for Jogodo to switch off. Uh, yeah, yeah, they will get there first. They have May Bash, and so they actually have to hope for something to get charged fast enough. But they have White Room Reinhardt control. Reinhardt really. comes out on the side of SU, split off with that May wall, letting OD take that presence in the server room. Sigma getting kind of split off from the rest of his team. Adelot not able to really get a good angle without getting melted by the entirety of SU's backline. Uh, finally, ODU taking the point presence, getting in the backline. Lucio from ODU uh, trying to find something. Shield's about to go down for the Reinhardt from Shenandoah. Uh, no picks just yet. Lamp comes out on the side of SU. Uh, we should start seeing picks drop here very soon, and we will as heavily on the side three of members favor. From S, you go down very well played. Yeah, just as that fight goes on longer and longer, Old Dominion just has that sim on lock. Just get a level three beam, and they just have a Reinhardt forced to hold shield. They have a Sigma on the side of ODU, so you just like he's just able to poke while having that shield up while Reinhardt is just forced to hold right there. Now you can look at the tank ultimate charge difference here, forty-two percent to the sixty-three. Look at the window too; like you can just see how much the portal has compared to. ODU. Very nice wall there, actually, as the Bastion goes down. Jokajoey unfortunately does go down as well. It's a four v four fight, but the lamp comes out very early on the side of SU. ODU needs to get a pick, but Adelok goes down instead. Not a great position to be in anymore. Hey, it's Lion will follow soon after, and ODU's kind of backpedaling. Going to try to stall the point as long as possible, but they're just going to give it up, and it looks like that's going to be a fight win for Shannon. Yeah, Old Dominion did kind of just get caught with their pants down there. Kind of entered a little too yeah. much. Held their barnacles there. Again, SU does have a very uh, way stronger for all comp here. Like, they kind of just Try to get these fights over as quickly as possible. They could wall that. And this is the wall inside of Shenandoah. Insane shift from the side of Adelot on Old Minion. Can just walk there. Somehow X Bloss and Index are both taken out while using Blizzard and Wall. Not really what you want to see at all if you're an ODU player right now. Two ults used for absolutely nothing. Just a one window. I wonder what that comm sounded like. Well, all I know is that this fight is already over and we've already invested another ult to do it. So that's three ults for the price of nothing. One little window, but he's already 32% to the next one. Look at the side of old minions who SU's ultimate usage here. That is insane. You have the TP. You could obviously just TP left. You don't even have to take the window fight. You can just play left side wall, TP in there. But they decide, hey, I'm going to run it down main, and they just get shot in the head, like old yeller style. What do you had a coupon for buy three ults, get dirt and sand that's in your pocket? Oh, yeah, and looking like the they slam, are walking on that coupon again. Actually, Adelaide. it's a beat there. Adelot doesn't get it, though. Actually, the worst person not to get beat in this comp. Joe Joey is pinned against the wall. Pretty normal as real life as well, but all that's taken out there. Adelot is taken out. Look at that ult advantage from the side of Shenandoah. Just 25% of your shatter. You have both things all. Already losing that one fight, you already have three ults. What do you mean having jack nothing right now? Yeah, so in general, good practice uh, in the Overwatch meta, at, at least as far as I know, uh, using three ults in a fight that you lose is not really the best play to make. Um, 
So we just have to walk to a bully character here. Out a lot. Could get this pickup. They just have a lamp sustain. Can still win this fight, honestly. I think they're getting a little split right now, though. Out of that very, little very split. is marking it a little bit. They haven't actually had a real fight this entire fight. This entire map, actually, they haven't had an entire fight together besides that first point where they actually won it. At this point, they're just forced to touch. I don't think they're even going to be able to touch. I don't think they will either. That Aris is so slow. And yeah, they just got kind of staggered this entire fight. Oh, oh they actually the get the touch from Lucio. That is good, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Yeah, this entire point just... Honestly, they won the first fight pretty sizably. They got it when there. Reinhardt was kind of stuck on them. And after that, they are just like, hey, we're just going to int and troll for five minutes straight. And then just didn't have a real team fight after that. That's kind of how it goes. Just kind of how Circuit Control Center works. They have the TP. They never even decided to TP like to white or anything like that. They just kind of ran it down main. Kind of forgot what to do with that scenario. Unfortunate one-to-one. -one. On Garden next. I think ODU's comp should be better if they swap back to the Sigma here. The Reinhardt is interesting there. I don't know if they're going to swap for a symmetric TP point here. That is a pretty... I'm goofball I'm strategy here, but <laughs> honestly, they don't need it. They are going to swap to the Symmetra. Both teams are running the Symmetra here. Swapping the Orisa too. Honestly, I think Shenandoah just wins this if they both TP to the point. I actually think that Odominion should have better sustain at this point now that they have the Orisa about Sus Lucius. Uh, yeah, the yeah, thing is, their Reinhardt's not going to be able to do better. anything into their fight at all. Like they have, they don't have the May, but they have the Symmetra again. So if the Symmetra manages to live, and they have like the burst from Bastion. They yeah. really. They have a good standing here. Looks like they actually got the point first. Most oh. of the TP actually took a little too long on the TP. Point person to take. And Hayes Line melted down by three centers. Not actually something you really see that often. Uh, might have got moved closer to the team. Right? Yeah, this is an unfortunate fight. A little bit too late on the sim TP. I'm just going to get melted at this point. Yeah, like I, like I was trying to say, it, it, Shenandoah's comp, if they get one advantage over you, like they get one early pick, uh, such as a BAP melting to three stationary uh, sim turrets, um, they can just walk all over you because your sustain is essentially gone with the ODU's comp right now. Uh, yeah, if they have good sustain, but if they play split like at all, they kind of mm -hmm. just get meshed a little bit. Like they have the Orisa, but they just have the May to wall off, and they just keep playing little splits so that like can like really stack on the target. They look like they're all just trying to do their own thing on the same drifting target, all that. So they are taking fight here. Window coming up on the side of Shenandoah very shortly. Should be going out in about like five seconds. Plant them using the side. Window coming out on the side of that too. Window not actually getting close. Not close to anything at all. Closer to beat than window actually. Pretty funny at that <laughs> point. That's what happens when you get picked first, unfortunately. All that going in right now. Should have a beat engage pretty shortly. Honestly, don't even need to beat engage. You have artillery coming out on the side. Should walk at battle on it. Kind of running it down. Does get two picks with the side of the artillery. Kind of insane. Or two uses from the side of Index. Down three, shouldn't even need to use anything else. Actually, Bastion might go down, getting absolutely no pressure on those three turrets, melting that guy into a out of us, but it looks like we do actually win that fight on that. And so we have four ults on the side of all the medium, two SUs, four as well. Wall on the side of both teams, but SU will have a better wall advantage just from having those three turrets exist for the entire fight and that earlier meltage. Looks like they do TP point. Oh, that was our team TPing, actually. I think Index got a little confused. <laughs> I thought that was enemy team TPing. They all walked back point. Not really too bad. You have, like, a little bit of more uh, poke bees than the enemy team does at this point. It's not too bad. Both teams will have wall for this fight. But if they end up going a little earlier, yeah, we don't have wall yet. Pretty bad wall for the side of the on SU, if I'm being honest. Not too bad. Be used already. You should have your own sim wall coming up very shortly as well. Just absolutely laying into that sim wall to no avail. Index gets caught off by the wall, making it a 4v5 situation. He comes out the wall. Actually, skips the point to, yeah, I think that was just pretty bad, like, ult usage from the side of the They kind of used ults. They used the right ults, but they used them the wrong times, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Like, they could have just... Played a little slow, add a lot, took a little too much damage, not realizing where the wall was. Could have counter walled it too, then you could have used beat to engage on that little bit of there. Both teams actually ended up using beat for that, so they just kind of have the better beat to stay. Both teams will have the same ult. Shadow was just used, and yeah, it nobody was just used. Couldn't say it. Say it right down. now. Very oh, nice of Arisa ult. They were able to get the lamp down in time, get the bap in May as well from Shenandoah. This should be a pretty clean that a symmetra? Yeah, that's just Index taking those two with turret. Yeah, nice. I didn't even get to see that because of where our spectator was. But I think Ultimate did have, they tried to get that Orisa out late. Somehow Orisa did that, then it ran for the Orisa ult after they shattered, and then this kind of ran the game down. Good boop on the side of Xbox while booping them farther away from their TP and lamp. I don't know if that was mentioned. All evil. No ult on the side of Old Dominion. Kind of holding close. I guess you have like a little bit of a pacifier. Has to care wall. They do have Blizzard and they do have Window coming out, which they do TP point. Luckily, only a fucking their whole team actually is the unfortunate side of that. Window coming out, they just completely flip point and map again. Not really what you want to see from the side of Old Dominion. This might be the last fight and curtains for Old Dominion for this map. Definitely. As well. 
looking like last fight as Adelot and Joker Joey both go down. It's a 2v5 situation now. Uh, make that a 1v5, but I believe Index uh, can do it. He has artillery strike in the pocket, uh, and he's waiting to get that 99. He's gonna walk the turret on his team. team. Maybe end up, maybe. Are you stupid? Um, sorry. What? Okay, little little uh. Misclick. I think a unfortunate idea of how who was gonna touch and who wasn't because that was like a um, thing you could have done seven percent ago and then you could have touched after with turret. But I think a uh, little bit of a brain lag. That did that hour delay does kind of mess with you a little bit there. It had like that little walk on that first bit, but yeah, that was a. Uh, that was definitely a play that I saw from our Bastion on that. I kind of got, like, with his pants. I think he thought his Lucio was going to touch or something like that. But the way it looked like, that guy kind of just <laughs> decided to ult and May, who can just cryo freeze and then just do nothing after. So, like, we won the first point pretty sizably, but what do you think they even did on the second? Like, you know the second point was just completely staggered. What do you think they did wrong in the third point? I don't think it's what um, ODU did wrong. I think it's more what Shenandoah did right, and they turned their monitors on. Yeah, uh, uh, well, but I think there was definitely a few things Old Dominion did besides, like, that last play that we have like, all our eyes focused on. Like, there was a lot of plays, like, the Baptiste going on, turrets, like, the thing. And, then, and these little, like, counter comps where they're both mirrored, every, like, second delay you have in something will just give them an advantage, yep. especially on caught maps. Like, they got the TP first. Their Lucio set up for a boot, boot yep. them all in. They're, I think, I don't know if their Baptiste took, like, too long to take the TP and they walked forward after the boot, or they just, like forgot where they were and forgot to press a cooldown and died so like that person yep. goes down they immediately get fight percentage the way Koth works is you get one fight you get like a snowball on that they snowball for two points they might just get a flip through like them trolling yep. old dominion does the exact same thing old dominion has that last fight has no ults how to use them to actually even get the point back they just tp point and they just forget and then like the map gets flipped and then that play so yeah i mean what else is there to say uh it's yeah, just something. I think we're going to be seeing Kings Row pretty shortly. Unfortunate down one map, but this is the first 2-3 best of five scenario. Can be turned back to the side of all main. Just got to get those little cogs out. Again, they have to capitalize on those players, so you do have a blood alcohol level of four yes. times the legal limit in Ireland. You, you would be surprised how don't many... No. Hmm? What are you saying? No, no, go ahead. No, I actually don't know what ping we're on on this. I don't know if we're on Europe or if we're on normal North American I think ping. they're on our ping, so they're actually okay. at a disadvantage. Yeah, so they have two weak links we can make out. Actually, it might be worse. If they're on projectile characters, those could be like giant logs. Like they're on Hanzo or Far. Those things are like heat-seeking missiles. Yeah. All that. Yeah, I think we'll be going to a short break really shortly. Should be coming back for Scrims Row as the ODU standard is. After that comes back, we'll be going into that map very, very shortly. Stay tuned. Short break, guys. Looking like we're on the scrims are daytime. Unfortunate. Yeah, sorry. Hello. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. I don't know if you can hear that through the speaker right now. Yeah, you want me to pick up what? Eggs? Get your own eggs, man. Shut up. I gotta hang up this call. Sorry. Okay. Oh. All right, looking like we got sent back to the lobby. They wanted dark mode Kings Row on. <laughs> Guys, we need to have night mode Kings Row. It hurts um, my eyes if I look in the sky. So we're going to go back to casters, which means we're going to go back to another short break really shortly again as we wait for them to put on dark mode Kings Row. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.
I swear this engine was loading a little big. <laughs> Alright, we're back in Cassidy on Dark Mode Kings Row, like I predicted all that right now. Looks like SU has decided to take the attacking phase as Ultimate has to take the defense here. All that has going on looks like we're running the sick comp, getting some PTSD, or I'd say flashbacks, deja vu, whatever you want to say. God, all that right now. Point. Looking like Sigma Bath Lucio, little Sigma May Brawl, Sojourn May. Looking like I'm wrong spec, Verdi says. Looks like we're on to all specs still. Looks like SU's running the same brawl comp. They're going to have Bastion May compared to the Sojourn May Sigma, so they're kind of just going to run over our whole team if the ODU is not careful, which could be the case. Let's see that. <sighs> yep. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. You know, I mean, I, I, there are so many cobwebs that character. develop on the brain within that fifty-minute time span. I, I just, yeah, like my, I was, uh, so I, I was like, I had like, I got my fishing rod out. I was actually like playing some toilet fishing. Like you know how, uh, what you do it normally? Like you just get like a little lure of like shrimp. I was trying to get like some trout while I was waiting. Like it wasn't really working. Toilet fishing. Yeah, it's like a thing they do in the south a lot. Oh. New York does it, but it has like rats and stuff. Ah, oh, like I get it. What I did oh. say happened right now. Looks like they did take a left angle, walled, and pummeled our signal to the corner. How many times we got to teach you this lesson, old man? They beat the, <laughs> beat the hell out of him over and over again. Looks like we did lose that fight immediately, like I predicted would happen because of what the comp advantages are. Can we hold Arch? That is the question. That I don't know if Adelot's going to swap to Reinhardt or Arissa, or if we're going to be like, no, guys, let's stick with it. Womp, let's see. Womp. Did you just say womp womp? Did you say womp womp? How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? How dare you run Reinhardt on King's Row? How dare you run Sigma on King's Row? It looks like Cryophys is running. I think he's actually trying to jump scare the enemy. Uh, what's that guy's name? Onion, Onion Man, Man is like, I'll give down. you guys a free pick. We'll give you a freebie here. A little bonus. It's if you a, want it's to a pity like pick, as they call it in the industry. Yeah, PP, as they call it. A little pity pick. A little PP? A little PP pity yes, pick. Yes, ODU that, did just right get that. a little PP from Shenandoah University with Onion Man right there. Looks like um, they gobbled that up as quickly as possible to get that free pity pick. All that's done right now. Looks like Bastion is on the side. I think they swapped two Bastion right there. I actually don't know if they swapped or not. I think they were on Bastion. Oh, that guy's 53% ult charge. We're 97 to Blizzard. Kind of insane. 87 to Flux. 40% to Shattered somehow. I don't know how. I guess that fight went on so early. Looks like a little flank on there. All that just spooked. Good Almost wall from the side of ODU, but yeah, looks like nice Index wall. is kind of cut out. Doesn't actually hit anybody with the Blizzard that you'd think. Actually freezes two. <laughs> Baptiste is just <laughs> crip walking behind his window. Nobody <laughs> actually realized that. Playing Spy right now, I guess. Yeah, uh, so like, end up using him. Flux. Very that Bastion nice can, just, that can get it, I guess. Unfortunate right there. Lucio taken out as well. Nice rock. I think Baptiste is still alive. Yeah, pretty late Flux. I actually didn't really want to use it. Said, so why, why not? Yeah. Merkham all to death. Looks like Index is coming back on that little voice crack from the side of Old Dominion right there. Looks like they're coming back with May. May's going to be really later. I don't know if they're actually taxing him back because I've only had the front view, but I think I think they are taxing the May back, but they're going to be a little bit late with this next fight. I'd walk back a tiny bit if I was Sigma to carry that wall. Looks like Baptiste didn't actually get the memu, though. The memu. That, the little memu. Oh, wall comes out a uh, little bit into uh, Shenandoah's back yeah, line. Yeah, like, I think Index, not Index, I think Adelot and Hayat's line both thought they could hold that choke, but again, your whole team is backing up to go speed back two people there. I think Sojourn was dead too somehow. All of them run back. Look at Arissa is coming out now as well. Honestly, oh, that's going out. Yeah, that, that could have been a breakdown in communication, not realizing where their team was, but uh, the backing up was the right call here, and because they failed to do so, Shenandoah will be uh, passing the corner. Again, a very hard place to defend if you start to snowball it. Artillery strike comes out on the side of Shenandoah University, finds nothing, and uh, Hate's line Actually will go one. down Never to mind. the artillery Scratch strike. That. Never mind. Kind of playing Tetris a little bit with the May walls right now. Had a little bit of an L shape, which is kind of what Old Dominion, Old Dominion is taking right now as mm -hmm. they lose another character. Adelot Boom and up. Hate's line. Good little flashback from the last fight before both down in this fight. We have o Overclock coming in, Blizzard and Beat pretty shortly. Down both of that. Looks like enemy team SU just had an insane ultimate advantage again. Only one ult for four again. Looks like we have both support ults on both teams besides the window. Let's see what we can do with this. Will, was that Wasabi? Can't really read that from far back here. I think he oh, almost yes. got almost got impaled out of the shatter. Wabi Sabi. Yeah, the Wabi Reinhardt. Sabi is their Reinhardt. Looks like they do with the shatter. Actually hits the index with it. Beat comes out to clear both of those. Overclock ends up pinging their Baptiste, but this is just a Blizzard beat combo. I don't know if actually Overclock has a chance of winning this fight. Uh, yeah. That's just an ultimate advantage. They just dump everything they had. They like they just upchucked all the ultimates they could have even possibly dumped onto that fight. Ended up losing it for that. All that's done. 
Man. Uh, yeah, it's it's unfortunate to see, uh, especially when you know that that this if you cap the uh, second point. Um, it's almost on a break in. Sorry, we blocked the door. So, oh. really? no, it's, don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Um, what's that noise again? Do you hear that? It's a guy at the door. It's oh. okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, all that's on wall coming in right now. I don't know where that blizzard is. I don't know if anybody got hit with that blizzard. It looks like the blizzards are starting to turn back into index patented zoning blizzards again. All that around out a lot is close to killing the Reinhardt. Should kill the Reinhardt with that. Should go into the Reinhardt ultimate does not go down. Too late. Walled Windows off from be killing the uh, Reinhardt and uh, three yeah, members of ODU that's go just down. another fight where we engage with a oh, swap on Hanzo. I didn't even notice happened. I guess shows how little that happened in that fight. But all that's down. And I was somehow having less ults on a team that actually just used four ults on the fight before. It's kind of insane, uh. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but it looks like the enemy team does have Bastion, Shatter, and close to Blizzard. We only have Window and Arisa ult coming up very shortly as well. As the Reinhardt is inting his actual brains out. Should be beat okay, to death for his go. sins. Is actually punished for it. Will we Arisa ult this May for fun? I looking like a nope. Looking might. like Adelot is afraid, backpedaling like a scared mouse in the traps of a cat. All that's going on. Bastion is impaled. May might be following suit. Nope. Whiff, whiff. Make that number seven. Adelot picks up the slack. All that's done there. We do have lucky number seven on our team on the hit scan rule. It's looking like he's doing a little bit of projectile. He's not actually not on the Dublin ping, though. He doesn't actually get that little projectile boost. Yeah. Who do you think on Shenandoah has the ping issues right now? Uh, I want to say it's Wabi Sabi. You think it's Wabi Sabi? Reinhardt's probably the easiest to play on low, play low ping. Um, because the way you play him normally is you just kind of um, have a predetermined set of moves that you just kind of follow through. Here comes the Orisa ult. Window comes out. Can ODU break it before it is too late? No, they cannot. Uh, most of Shenandoah is able to escape, but the May and uh, uh, Lucio as well as Baptiste go down from Shenandoah, and that will be a fight win for ODU. No, it's just one ult. Actually, two ults. I forgot they used Window in that fight as well. Two ults for the price of zero. Genji on the side of Shenandoah is brought back to the grave as he flies out of spawn, taken down. Blizzard on the side of both teams. Both teams will have both support ults coming up. Actually, I lied. Keep forgetting that Window keeps being used in these fights where I don't think Window has even been seen. Looks like both teams... Oh, uh, we'll we just have a window, window advantage. Yeah, we did use Window on that Arisa ult there. Oh. I keep thinking that. We have three ults for this. Pretty good ults here. We have a combo of just... Actually, I have no combo at all, but I thought we had like something else. May Blizzard is used. Out. Should have beat coming in very shortly for that. Only freezes it's a good Hanzo, May actually. Ult. It freezes the beat. Arisa, I thought. Ah, and that's yeah. saying, why not? Freezes the Hanzo. Beat countered by both teams. Arisa ult is going to be coming in about four seconds. I actually made that right now. All that's going in right now. Adelot managed to get out in time. May, I think it's knocked off the map somehow. Pretty interesting here. Arisa goes down too. This is a fight turning heavily in Odu Minion's favor. Genji trying to pick up the slacker. Oh, Gets stabbed very through the nice. heart there. Make that a Oh boy, little uh, scene from the 300 there. Yeah. Impaled right through the stomach. Right there, all in there. It looks like Lucio just given up. Fights on the side of Old Dominion. Both teams close to absolutely all their ults. Just kidding. Window is on the side of Shenandoah. Nothing else. Old Dominion is close to the Orisa and Where Window. Get a and blade on the side else. of Shenandoah as well. Yeah. Make that two for the side of Shenandoah. Orisa already really low. Index is about knocked off the map. Make Late. that a boop for boop on the side of both. Should have at least one more fight to contest here. Actually, if they get three on this, might be a little too hard. If we have a no repeat of last, uh, if we have a repeat of last map, then no, they, they will not. Touch. Well, they at this point, out. that last map was just a warm up, little warm up. Yeah, yeah a little warm we up. We should definitely, we de most definitely have a toucher at this point. Out a lot can touch it as long as index doesn't go down. Maybe. Okay, I, <laughs> maybe I should just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I think uh, these guys might have a allergic reaction to touching points in the last second. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a deathly allergic reaction. It might be like a six on the scale. They touch it, whole face swells up. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All that's just. Uh, yeah, that's just. Womp, womp. womp. It's just a womp, womp indeed. Yeah, kind of just got shoved into a back alley in that last fight. Beat to death, mugged, all that. All that money. $14 stolen and pocket change. All that. What do you have to say about the skull? Pretty good commentary all about right there. Looks like we have a pretty good attack. Same exact comp on exactly both sides, I think. <laughs> Literally the exact same comp. Do you know a little what the bit definition of, of insanity is? Doing the exact same comp over and over again, expecting different results. Uh, that is exactly right.
That's what I'm seeing right now. Oh, we video. see Joker Joey bring out the Widowmaker. We have lucky number seven jackpot coming in with his Widowmaker pick. Lucky Will he get the lucky seven. number seven shot? If we could get a quick spectate at the beginning of the round on to Mr. Joker Joey, we need to see this in action. Thank you. Vi oh. Look like Sojourn here. Looking like he did hear the call. Oh! Back. Oh my goodness. Lucky number seven coming back right now. <laughs> oh, don't switch. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna cry. He's gonna switch. He's gonna switch. He's switching for the cooldowns. Okay, never mind. Man. Well, he's actually hitting his shots on Sojourn, which is a good thing. I'm just gonna cry. What? What, cry. <laughs> what was that? Did yeah. you hear that? I don't know. I think that was the entirety of the crowd crying from Old Minions, Joker Joey coming in and not picking Widowmaker. Looking like this fight is anybody's favorite. Looks like Baptiste is beat down in an alley, frozen to death. Call that one a Shining reference. If you haven't seen that movie yet, 40 years, man, you might be a little late. <laughs> Sojourn <laughs> manages to right. escape on the side of Shenandoah. I'm not sure if you caught that, but the Sojourn literally slid under all of ODU's bullets in, into the back line of Shenandoah. These guys are playing alive. cinematic movies on the this, side of Shenandoah. I think they have slow scenes. mode enabled. I think they, they might have slow motion on. It might be the ping that makes it slow motion. Again, it might be. We that might have found true. one of the players. Kermit DeFrog might be in Ireland right now, drinking I, a swig between every fight. Yes, I'm not sure. Uh, normally, I would have think that the um, benefits of Potato Land uh, would be outweighed by the cons, but <laughs> it looks like in this scenario that <laughs> Kermit DeFrog, it is actually going to help him quite a so bit. Sent into orbit and is not killed somehow. Actually, make that a by the. This is an interesting May wall on both teams. I gotta admit, both these May walls are like connected by like Tetris moves every fight. I think they try to think that if you like connect them, they'll disappear. Not how that works in Overwatch, unfortunately. Window on the side of S2 comes in. Old Minion does decide to just run right past it. Hey, it's Lion didn't get the memo fast enough. Does get impaled through the stomach and heart. Bristol can be used. Looks like it won't be. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Again, punch in the face, drops down. Arisal and Window using the side of SU. Shenandoah, Old Dominion has used absolutely nothing yet. All right, two minutes left on the board. Uh, we still got to get... Yeah, I think we don't expect this player anymore. You expect <laughs> anybody else. I think like, like, every time we see this, it's like... A little, we're getting a little too rough on him, man. How about we look at anybody else? Okay, Adelaide has his ult coming up very, very shortly. Let's see if this is really good on the side of him. Let's see this right now. Get day speared now. May through Blizzard the coming chest. on the flanker. Pretty insane Blizzard. That's flank. actually this guy always just, this guy has stage good fight. Blizzard. Finding most of Shenandoah University, able to get the picks off, and ODU will win that fight and get the payload under their yeah, control. Everybody. Okay, I've realized the issue. Every time we spectate index, he starts doing terribly. We need to just not spectate that guy. He does like stage fright or something. Put on the blinders. One ult to win that fight that took them three minutes. All they had to do is just build one blizzard. But the thing is, they won't have that every fight for every game. So they got to actually use some ultimate combos and actually can get them correct here. Let's see if we can get a combo going on at any point. Let's see if we can get any good ults coming on the side of Old Dominion. SU only has the blizzard coming up with a window. It should be coming up very shortly as well. Let's see it. Orissa's coming in. Window comes out behind the Orissa, uh, and two members of ODU go down immediately. Make that three. Trying to make a 180. Impale, try to impale something in the stomach there. It doesn't actually catch anybody, I think. X-Boss does just get... I, I think the best word for that is crumpled into a paper ball, not ironically. You know those videos of, like, the hydraulic press, like, crushing, like, soda cans? Yeah, like, I got, like, that with, like, a thousand-degree knife cut, like, through <laughs> the stomach right Yeah, there. Red Hot Knife Challenge, uh, yeah. ODU edition, play an Overwatch Okay, looks game. like we did use Window in that fight. Nothing else, though. We are going to be running in, I think, with a wrist hold. The thing is, every time these guys hold on their ults for every fight, they just kind of end up, like... Getting ultimates on the other side. Old for clock flank on the side of Old Dominion. Out. Doesn't actually pick up the Ajax before that happens. B coming in on both teams. This actually just should be a one fight for Old Dominion, just for ultimate usage in general. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, just. I mean, they used four or three, so I would hope. Then you just look at Old Dominion's. Uh, just look at Shenandoah's fights for the next fight, though. They have Overclock, they have a Rissol, and they just have the window again. Like, I'd be shocked if Old Dominion doesn't win this next fight. They have two minutes and 40 seconds on the board, but as this point goes on, they're probably going to only have, like, Realistically, they don't win this fight only by like a minute of actual team fighting to do. Yeah. I mean, that payload is still way, way back there. Uh, yeah, they, it's going to get around this corner is out when this team fight starts happening. So we should just get around here. Wall comes out on both sides. Joker Joey taking down to HP. literally one HP. Uh, finished off by uh, Sad Sin. Uh, I'm sure Joker Joey inf uh, enjoyed that index taking down Kermit the Frog. Uh, and the Arisa ult comes out on the side of Shenandoah. Even team fights, 4v4 situation. Adelot 
going down to the hands of the Baptiste, and we see the menu pop up. This should be a. This actually is a very close fight for Felix. It is it a very close fight. Rosa should be going down on the side of Shenandoah very, very shortly. I think next match to catch this up before he gets Mega. Okay, Shenandoah, Arissa has run for her life. That's actually probably the worst play you could have done as Arissa at this point. He just will go down. That was a good turn from the side of Index and x -Blast. Index did get the flank blizzard on the two of them who entered a kill out a lot. Does catch them both out from that, and they actually should get this point off of that. If you look at the ultimate that Shenandoah has, if they can manage to get a touch on the side of Shenandoah, it would be really bad for Old Dominion, but I don't think that's actually just going to be happening at all. Yeah, pretty good point. Nice ult from the side of Index on that. Again, just stop spectating that guy. Yeah. Start seeing the numbers. As soon as, as soon as you start spectating him, nothing else. Good wall on the side very of Index well. Nice actually wall. completely denies that entire window for most of that entire bit of its duration. Yeah, very nice wall uh, in the middle of the window. Very nice, uh, nicely played from Odie. Which should die. So actually well. walled off by her own May. It was then just sent uh, the Shadow Realm right after. Are you kind of popping off right now, now, actually? But Arissa ult this unironically. They decided to push it a little bit longer. I feel like that is not going to happen, though. I think it is about to happen as uh, Adelot is pushing into the front line. We should see it pop up here very soon before Adelot yeah, dies. Oh, Window comes out, off, so keeps him up, should and it will down, find though. the Arissa. Arissa trades uh, fine with the Index taking down the uh, Shenandoah's May. Uh, Odie should be able to clean this fight up relatively easily. The thing easy. is, they're going to have to do this really quickly, though, before, like, if they get any picks on the side of Old Dominion again, if Shenandoah can get any picks, it should be lost for ODU. They have a stall here, too. If they can manage a stall as well, they have a tank presence. Like, if this Baptiste and May can stall correctly, it looks like they actually don't end up using the cooldowns correctly, but they are just stalling enough for, like, them to make potential swaps actually touch this. Yeah, like, you have that again, the Tracer and the Lucio on. Lucio's dead immediately. Kiriko comes up to appear just to die again, but that's another five seconds on the clock. Beat comes out come again? on the nah, side of ODU. A touch, but that is a decent stall from the side of Shenandoah. Both teams on the board. Sizable time bank difference from Old Dominion, but as we know earlier, JV Varsity did have a pretty insane time bank as well, and they kind of just whipped the entire thing, so it's anybody's game still at this point. Yeah, honestly. Uh, ODU going into this um, these overtime rounds with that big of a time bank compared to the one minute that... Uh, yeah, the uh, one minute that Shenandoah has. The one has. minute that Shenandoah has, yeah. He, uh... Hello? Sorry, there was a little bit of an ad there, unfortunately. That. But two times stronger enamel. <laughs> two times stronger enamel. Brush your teeth. Use uh, Fluoric Crest, uh, recommended by five out of eight dentists. Sulfuric acid also does help a little bit, too, if you, like, wash yes. it around your mouth. Pretty yes. Chill. Uh, I've heard sandpaper is great for getting the uh, plaque off. And then yeah. the, a little bit of cold water. I use a cheese grater. A cheese grater will just gets uh, all the dirt work. and phlegm right off. Sometimes your teeth. I will uh, use a nail clipper on the bottom of my teeth. It yeah, just that's just like that's because when they grow, though, you don't like the little tiny filmsy part. I like my teeth nice, round, and hard, and like no like little bits on it too. Make sure yeah. they can crunch correctly. Sometimes, yeah. Well, when my teeth grow too much, um, you know how you you, you gotta like clip yeah. your teeth every once in a while. I try to keep mine the same length, but. Uh, See, like most people like bite on wood and everything too. Like, but like the nail clipper. I found the nail clipper better. method actually work. You have an exposed nerve for a couple days, but it goes away. Yeah, like it closes up. That's how it goes normally. Side of Old Dominion looks like they're running the exact same comp, except for Arissa instead of a Sigma. This point should be a lot better. As she's running the exact same thing with that side of Reinhardt. This is honestly just a mirror fight again. There's a little bit of a mirror match. Bastion on the side of SU should have that one little engagement. They actually have to make something work with that Bastion turret mode, or Old Dominion will just have the highest sizable advantage. Pretty goofy wall. Doesn't really do much. Ends up getting uh, Onion Man sent back to the fields, unfortunately. Yeah. Both walls on the side of that. R is a May advantage. Turrets out on the side of Shenandoah, too. Just a lot worse for Shenandoah overall compared to Old Dominion. That's already 30 seconds off the time bank. If you have a Bastion in this scenario, you have to make something work with it. If you don't end up doing anything in that turret mode, you just have a, like, a lot worse poke in general overall compared to the Soldier and May. The Orisa there, too. Like They should have a window advantage, but both teams have the exact same window. May ult, like, if you look at that May difference, 45% to 20%, that's just what happens when you get picked so early in the fight. They can't touch looks like they're trying to go through Hotel at this one point. Pretty honestly good chance for a wall here. The like team is actually kind of split there. Bastion can go down. This is split on the other side. Two for one, but it's still not that bad. Window coming can come in the side of... Old Dominion, they go quick now. Baptiste low as well. Looks like they're going to have to give a tick. They could stabilize here a tiny bit. Kind of split. And that taken out. Window just come out from the side of Old Dominion as well. Pretty bad. Wall, wall is already Why taken out. Wall, no, Wall was taken down by yeah, the May. This might be actually an insane uh, fight. Oh, this is taken out too early. That's really bad for the side of Old Dominion. And fight crucial. Two crucial ults used that early. And a fight you end up losing is honestly just 
recipe yeah. for disaster. If, if ODU was going to commit Ulster, they needed to win um, because in overtime, that time does not stop, as you can see. So this every isn't, little percent counts. This isn't all is lost, however, though. They look outside of Shenandoah. They only have Arissa and Beat coming up. They have all these other swaps. Blizzard can physically win a fight by itself if they yeah. get a nice Blizzard off. Index has been doing that. Just make sure not to spectate it so you can actually get a good <laughs> Blizzard off. Yeah. But, uh, again, Window and Arissa all taking that one fight just – really bad for the next honestly like a little too late on their ultimates they take a little bit too much damage you could have lived a little bit and not to like pick peak that window for so long but kind of that's how it goes Adelot playing patty cake at the corner with the uh, other orissa not really waiting waiting for the rest of his team to get there it looks like we're going to get the may ult coming out here directly on top of the point and this should be extremely yeah, effective those freeze does show. get really off cool that kill it's a two for one Very on nice. the side of it, but the Baptiste is down on both teams. All the stabilized this should just be one by Brody. The, that Baptiste going down earlier is a lot better. No AOE heals at all. And Bay is just beaten to a corner. Yeah. Again, honestly, the exact same kind of method where JV Varsity won against, uh, not won, that, that's where they held uh, whatever that team was, Highland Community College, the exact same place. This is like, I'm getting really bad deja vu slash PTSD from this. If anything goes wrong, we might be seeing a repeat of uh, what happened 55 hours ago if you were awake for that time. I don't I don't even recall. It's been so long. So many millennia have passed since that game. Um, but I get what you're saying. I don't want uh, what happened uh, during that match to happen this time, but it is yep. nonetheless a possibility. Boy, howdy. Will we I see am lucky thirsty for a map win. One to one here. Yeah, that'd be nice to see. <laughs> the way this is going, this match might actually last long enough to have the web close at 12 a.m. I would not like that. That would be really bad for my time, but really good for my paycheck. So let's let's have it 50-50 <laughs> on that. So <laughs> let's think about it. Okay, looking on the side of Old Dominion, looks like they're running the exact same comp as they've been running for the past 14 points. No real differences there. SU is deciding, hey, guys, why don't we try the Sojourn, too? Let's see if uh, Kermit the Frog can actually live uh, up to his name. Now, and now Kermit the Frog... Uh, as we've already established, has been benefiting from that lag being in um, Potato Potato World. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, he's on Soldier, and that's a hit scan character, so like yeah. it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to actually get, you know, value because like I guess really I guess that's headshots. yeah, I guess that's correct. Um, ODU taking a split approach around the statue. Arissa from Shenandoah not wanting to give that space up. Hard to use really fortified. Back. Honestly, no ult. It's pretty it's good wall from the side of Old Dominion. Pretty bad wall from the side of it. Shenandoah actually might pick up their mate. They're not shooting it at all. Adelot does peel for his teammate. Pretty good there. Point presence taken already. Not really one of the position you want to be if you're Shenandoah right now. Pretty bad wall again. Insane wall from Index. Again, freezing their whole team. Puts them off on one little tiny bit of a corner. Just javelin that wall just for nice. dominance. Yeah, that's just a, that's just a May diff, honestly, if I'm being honest. It's a May gap. Yeah. Those walls on the side of uh, Old Dominion are just crazy. One of them walls off their whole team, pushes their wrists up back. The other one just funnels them all into one little tiny corner, and they're all, like, scared for They don't even want to shoot the wall. they got to get to their wrists immediately. Yeah, Adelos making a nice play to hold up so they don't even get a good chance of a fight here. I guess Index is streaming at his monitor to have these guys push up. Makes sense. Yeah. So we're coming on every ult here, too. It's going to be a minute and 20. There's a max of two team fights, depending on how this goes. They actually lose this fight really late. They might even not even get a touch for the next one. This is still anybody's game. Beat and Window will be coming up on the side of SU. Kermit the Frog already really low, but we will have Arissa and Window before they do. Which is huge. And Blizzard as well. From both oh, pretty teams good. Baptiste huge goes down Blizzard. using his lamp. I don't think they're going to be able to touch. It should be a map win for Old U. That's Very a 1-1 nice. one, one fight for Old Dominion. We're going to be here a little bit longer, guys. No 0-3 for both teams. They are on the board. That's a 1-1 one, one fight. Scrims Row goes to Old Dominion. Scrims Tower goes to Shenandoah so far. Our third map should be... What was it, guys? It should be Escort here. Yeah, all that's going in. We can watch this little play of the game. I guess not. It's a okay. A little Maya player, shooting AFK players. Granted, they're all AFK, but it's a okay. All right, and that. That's kind of just how it goes. Yeah, just one and one. Not really much to say. Just two mirrors. A little bit of a May gap. Everything else is the exact same thing. A couple things ODU is like messing up on. Just having your Baptiste caught with his pants down again. But that was what happened on Shenandoah as well. That's yeah. how it goes. Well, I. Uh, yeah. One to one. What can you say? They they fixed what they did wrong. So one in that to one, first they're map. better in the mirror. Let's see if Shenandoah can realize that they are worse in the mirror off, or will they decide to go, hmm, guys, we can beat them. Let's just see how it goes. We'll be back with a short break for escort next. Stay tuned.
Flashpoint instead of Escort. What the heck, man? Servasa pick for the next map because maybe guys, New Junk City might not that be might not be that good of a map. Unfortunately, like Servasa again. Old many running the exact same comp besides that Sojourn being a Genji now. Like SU's decided to go. Hmm, guys, what would be funny? Let's have our guy on Echo. We'll have Bap, Lucio, and Sojourn. Next character might be a. So yeah, it's gonna be either between Junker Queen or Orisa. Look how we're running Orisa. Funny little Overwatch guys. Not a lot to calm here, really. It's just kind of target focused. SU has a little bit more of a pokey comp over a brawl comp here. Old Mini will have a better brawl entirely. Back to Sojourn, guys. No change whatsoever, man. Woo! Yippee. Oh boy. Let's see a little bit of difference. Can we get that point first? It all depends on that little map control. Yeah, we do see the May instead of the Echo. How do you think that's going to play into these longer team fights? Well, that's actually a Bastion if you look correctly, but. All oh, that that go. when did that change? Already, Birdie's taken out already again. That's how it goes again. If their Bastion messes up during his turret, it's just over. Joker Joey putting the game on his back. He's like, I've been here too long. I'm going to 3-1 this game real quick. Already a first fight. Joker Joey ripping the whole team apart by himself. Call that one a Sojourn moment. 28%, three kills. That is how it goes. Again, first pop taken down already. Joker Joey just picks three. Not really much to say there. SU has the issue of they have to actually do something on their Bastion turrets or they will lose. They don't have the May. They're making kind of just, if he wants to use wall, his wall will come back around the same time the turret comes back either as well. Their Bastion messes up his turret. They just are kind of down a player. Sojourn's on both teams. Sojourn gets a free rail off that Rissa and Bastion. They just have better rails. Both teams get free rails, but Sojourn on the side of Old Minion should just get them easier. Pretty nice wall. Not that good of a wall on the side no, of Old Baptiste Bastion is taken down, but the lamp's a little too late. Rissa's taken down. I believe down we need to stop well. spectating Index. Uh, yeah, guys, that. remember, I remember if you spectate Index, we will lose the game. So be warned. That guy has to play from the shadows. And look, as soon as we swap off him, Bastion's down, guys. As of anybody's fight, Maze's going to stall it a little bit. Sojourn could be marked a little bit here. Looks like we're trying to peel for the uh, Maze. Doesn't really work out. We try to spectate him here. That's why that happened. Baptiste is low on both teams. I think this will be in the favor of Shenandoah, though. Honestly, almost one fight already for the side of Old Minion. We can just stall this out. I've a lot. We're winning the fight, actually. These yeah, guys are this has been a man. very nice Shenandoah table might be turn. running out of steam here. Actually, just managed to lose that fight by the skin of their teeth somehow. Every advantage taken down, picking the Adelot first, having a lamp advantage, having your entire team. Bastion Grand is not doing anything for 11 seconds. It so basically is a 4 4 but you just have your Orisa just run over their team. And X puts the team on his back there. Next flash points blocking like back left, I think. Again, yeah. can't see it if you're not looking at it from team view. So we're all here right now. Looks like it's going to be this flashpoint. Side of Old Minion has already has better map control. Should have a window on both sides. Actually, Shenandoah should be engaging this fight with a window early. We're going to have to cut out that window a tiny bit. Lamps already used on the side of Old Minion and Fortify. Two ults you don't want to use at the beginning of a fight, especially when they have window. Window coming out already. Probably going to have to give point, maybe. Maybe a point to a pretty bad window, honestly. Don't even have to mark it. So we're walking with our own window. Not that bad of a window. It does actually manage to get the Bastion taken out from it. That make that an even fight, but Bastion is most of their damage. Make that a Sojourn down take it as well. Orisa should be going down next. Interesting Orisa ult from Shenandoah right there. Ended Not up sure using Blizzard. Index is taken out last bit there. Just a Lucio. Does he manage to poop off the Orisa somehow? That'd be an insane fight. Well, I think he's just he's just chilling. Yeah, he's yeah. off the map. A little, little dip in the water. A little splash. Little, All that's taken out again. Ball. Side of Old Dominion. Pretty good ult advantage on the side of that. Shenandoah coming up on their Bastion ult and absolutely nothing else besides overclock. Will we be actually be able to win this? Who knows? Have our beat on both sides. We'll have the beat advantage here. We'll have a wrist as well. As long as uh, we don't get AJ'd here, like is a pretty known special of this map for X Blast. Not to be uh, not to be a worry warp, but this is the map of Ajax and for this player somehow. So We've everything seen it can time go and wrong. Time again, I just hope we don't. Speaking see of uh, dying late and dying in the middle of things, Arissa is going to put a 100 HP there somehow. Kind of insane. It does take 45 headshots. Index. Trying to be the main tank for the team a little bit. Fortify already used. Nice boot. Cool. Interesting little boot. Does actually get a lot of value. Surprisingly, Rissa goes down as well. That was an actually kinda, huge boot. Yeah, Shenandoah is just running the mirror, and they just, again, they're not that good at the mirror. Like, I thought they would realize they're not really that good at the mirror, but that might just be all they can play. Like, they did get, like, that one win from, like, the little troll play from Index on that little fight on Garden, but, again, that other point, they just messed up their team fights over and over again. They might just be two brawl teams. And if this is how it's going already... The Breder Brawl team just wins. You just have the May advantage. Like, they don't have a wall. They can't wall the tank off. They don't have Blizzard. They don't have, like, a, such a good fight-winning ultimate as Blizzard. And every uh, time they have that Blizzard off, their index can just live for an entire fight and let his whole team stabilize and not even have to really do anything. This is kind of just a May show, honestly. It's like Brawl, but you don't have the May. Yeah. Uh, th this is honestly, at, uh, at this point, this is a, a skill difference. If you are running the same exact comps, uh, 
as yeah. your enemy team. It's just literally about. You said it earlier. Who makes the first mistakes? Who makes the like the slight percentage mistakes? It, that determines who wins and uh, who doesn't. And Odie is just playing their comp extremely well. N maybe not extremely well, but well definitely enough. better than Shenandoah is. Yeah, like the rest of just end with every yeah, like again. Like that's just another fundamental. Lamp comes play. out taking on that side again. A too much of an end. Yeah, like. Again, they just have the May too, so they just have like the better sustain. You can just melt through everything Arissa does too. It's like you have two teams with bulls, but one just has a shotgun on the top instead of like go through it. So it's like one with a little gun on it, and the other one just like chilling with no armor. So they kind of just kind of get ripped apart like that. Twelve gauge is just popping into your team every fight where you're like, mm, oh, I can't dodge it, you just lose. Like that's what that's what the May is in this kind of like. Look at the ultimate advantage for Old Dominion versus Senandoa. Like they've won every fight sizably. They just have every ult. This is a snowball map too. Every fuck, every first fight win is just kind of crazy. There, little bit Freudian slip. <laughs> a little bit late in the night. Freudian slip. Yeah, yes. all that right now. As we grow into the wee hours of the <laughs> night, I actually do believe it is negative six in the morning for uh, those Ireland residents. Yeah, out I can there, tell. So Jerry sure. might have been off on a night at the time. Might have found this second Ireland player right now. Does get shot with their pants down. I thought this was Dublin, not Chicago. All that's going in right now. All that's done in right now. All that's going in right now. All that. Arissa, only one ult used. Actually, two ults used in this. No, it's actually one on the side of Old Dominion. Window used for nothing on the side of Shinnadoa. Actually, just Genji mark here. A little desperation attempt swap Genji instead of the Bastion here. Could have just swapped the May. I guess they don't have a really have a good of a May player. Got gap so hard on scrims where you're just like, ah, why not? Blizzard zoning Blizzard again. Decided to push in here. They can just kind of take point. I don't know why Old Dominion is wanting to take this fight. End up having to use two ults for absolutely nothing here, and they should just lose this fight just controlling that. Yeah, weird push to try to go on that one player that can live while their entire team rotates around, but that is how it goes. Still have not. Okay, there it is. Yeah, there's the flip. 23%. Should be only around one fight left for Old Dominion, and but and they so have three ults to work with. And this is the uh, map point, if I'm not mistaken. This is the ODU. map point for Old Dominion, yeah. But look at SU's ult. They only have beat, but again, we have beat as well. We have a wrist ult marked on it, too. We have our overclub. We just have a massive ult advantage. This will be the fight, too. They we just have, have to go. We're just free to down bump on all, but we just got a little bit of loose versus out. We can go. Like, fight index. Next boss oh does troll his no. brains out. Can't have to live there a little bit. Arissa uh, gets a, a huge wall, um, but the rest of Shenandoah is there to support. And it looks like Odie will lose that fight, unfortunately. Yeah, I think the that way this is lost, too. They won't even get retouches, either. That early pick on x Blast was just yeah, devastating. I don't know what that guy was doing up there. Again, might be a little bit too, uh, what's the word here? A little too... Silly? A little too silly, yeah. A little bit too much confidence there. A little too goofball-y. Too... Yeah. yeah, he's got to send a little <laughs> bit to the Bone Orchard. A odd little ball. early right there. A little oddball play. Dies with beat. Pulls a Vega. Unfortunate right there. All that goes in. Looks like no ults on the side of Shenandoah. Has a window coming to Blade. Marissa going in right now. Old Dominion does have four ults. Making that five very shortly. Can we actually do anything with it? Orissa is nice walled wall. off with no cooldowns. Very, very Lamp nice out again. Are they able to capitalize on it? Very that nice like Orissa yes. ult, actually. Uh, pulling the rest of Shenandoah in, and they will take down the Orissa that and is just the an rest extreme, of the team soon after. Like, that window is so far up. It doesn't really matter, though, because, like, they are just winning a fight. Like, the spawn door is right there. They're just chilling on it. I think they have one person grabbing Flashpoint on here right now. They're all just going to hold in this one advantage. Will they have anybody to flank take it? They don't really think they've known to take any off angles in this entire game so far. No one's taken a single off angle besides May or one player who happens to find himself there. Looks like they're all going to walk far left, too. Odie still has an insane ult advantage. And again, uh, the insanity gets walled off again. Shenandoah Orissa trying their hardest to stay alive, uh, using all their cooldowns. ODU should Arisa be collapsing on here. that Orisa right Baptiste here. Yes. does die really early into that fight. Blade but he comes can out still win this. and Blade is taken out. Yeah, that very is nice. Just an insane like having the little turn. This is still in anybody's favor right now. I think it is just Index, Lucio, and Orisa on the side of Old Dominion. Looks like Orisa is the only player here still oh, no. so far. I don't know where Index or Lucio went. Looks like Index was just playing point. Can't stall this as much too as he wants. Should actually just maybe be able to get this at least a 99 if doing like accurate stalling here. It looks like they aren't actually stalling the best they could though. They could, just hey, they win, could this win this though. fight now. Yeah, it's with that lamp, lamp gone, freeze out. Ah, uh, just a little unfortunate that Larissa gets does the pick on the back. Next. Doesn't make it almost one fight though, but I don't think using Blizzard and Window for that one fight was really that good. Honestly, both teams about the exact same ult of economy, a little bit more favored in Shinadova's favor right now. This is anybody's game. Yeah, I. That would have. Um, been worth it if, if they had actually 
gotten the picks that they needed to, but like you said, I don't think it was worth the two ultimates being used right there. Yeah, it was like more of like a martyr ult there. Yeah. All that's going in, it looks like they actually will just have beaten window coming up very shortly. We have nothing on the side of old Minion except for Rizzle coming in. We will just have a massive support ultimate advantage here. So honestly, this fight should be in Shenandoah's favor if they can manage to use the cooldowns correctly. Actually, very Birdie is taken down extremely early. Window is actually, that's another extremely bad window from the side of Shenandoah, but Beat is there to mark it out. Actually, Rissa could die here on the side of one minute. Rissa is taken out on both sides. This is still is, is an overused favor. We have a 4v3 scenario right now. And they, are, yeah, they are starting to rotate to that point. as well. It, and this could be, honestly, that fight ended so late and they capped so early. If they get a stagger here, that could be the map. I think that is the map yeah, with the Lucio gatekeeping. Yeah, they are getting gate capped. I don't know if the soldier can even touch. That is the map going to ODU. That make that Very a two-one nice. awesome play. Yeah, that was just both support ults used, but there shouldn't though. Baptiste forgot the name of him. I was thinking as a player from the last match, but I yeah, the, he who has, who, he, he should who has not be named. Not be yeah, like those windows on both times, the Arisa comes in. They put the Arisa really far up, expecting them to walk, but all that happens is the Arisa team just walks past and it ults. You yeah. can see it in this fight too. He Arisa ults a window right there, but the Arisa just says, "Ah, why not?" Walk oh, past that and get no nice value from that window game. as well. That was a very nice shot there. Yeah, that's just another two-one. Again, they're just a better mirror team. That's just kind of how it is. You just have a better mirror. Like Old Dominion is definitely better in the mirror. They have the May too. Again, two bulls. One that has a, a jackhammer. The other one has a Gatling gun <laughs> on the one team. That goes going like killing their whole team. Like they just have the May. So you're never gonna win in the mirror, really. So I don't really know why you even want to do that. I guess they just really had no idea. So Flashpoint is a really kind of brawl-based map on both of them. They just went for the lesser of the two evils, try to pick Sarvasa and do anything. Couldn't really do it. 2-1. Should be Escort next. Actually, I think it's Push, actually. It's Push, then Escort. Push. Yes. Um, no, I think it's uh, Escort, then Push, no, I think because Push, push escort, can't actually. tie. No, it's Push, then Escort. I promise. Sure. Well, we'll have to see after this break, actually. Right now, we'll catch you really shortly.
looking like it is pushed, like I said, looking like Esperanza. Kind of another brawl map, but ODU does have an allergic reaction to going high ground as well on this map as well. Seems so like they have a game. seems like they have an allergic reaction to uh, winning. Actually, it doesn't really look like that right now. They are up 2-1. I don't know. I just saw all of the members of ODU Esports team just shoot up their EpiPen, so. Yeah, well, can't break an omelet without making a few eggs. Can't break an omelet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a little bit like that. Can't break an omelet, make a few eggs. All that's right there. Ride, scrambled, over easy. This one isn't that easy, though. We're on the Arista comp again. Looks like SU's running a ball on a Mercy. Huh? Yeah, again, I told you, they realized, guys, we suck at Mirror. We need to do something that isn't Mental Mirror. Mental boomed right now. So they went Echo Mercy on a Soldier Ball. Honestly, Old Dominion's really bad at looking at other places that aren't main, so this might actually be pretty bad for them. Looks like they have swapped the nothing to nothing. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, let's just see if this ball can actually play Hamster correctly, or we might just be seeing this guy go into Fetal oh. every fight. Looks like all are all just going for main, even though they're on an angle comp. They decided to go in all main. Chris is kind of confused. All Big anti onto Adelot, and the ball looks like the ball knows what he's doing. He's playing those off angles. Uh, will Odu be able to counter it effectively? Yeah, Adelot goes down immediately. A little bit of a sniper Arisa going on right now. A little sniper monkey going in. No sniper monkey. All right, we might be seeing a swap of Sigma right now. I'd assume. I think we'd be seeing a swap of Sigma. Maybe a swap from X Blossom and maybe Kiriko. And we do. Not. We're keeping the Arisa guys. I think the Arisa is actually going to get a little bit outranged on this comp. So I don't think he's going to be doing that well. But we'll have to see how that goes. I'll see how that goes right now. It looks like the whole team is still managing to live through the... I've never known that like flag was there before. I'm so used to playing on low graphics. I've never seen that before in my life. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, every time I play in these little caster things, I see a new thing every time, like a little flag there. It's like a find the hidden detail book. Yeah, it's you, like uh, these maps actually have detail. Oh, where's Wall, Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we have used lamp on the side of it. It is 27 to ult. Matching their on it, who has not to he had to heal a single thing, so it's like 20% ult more. So we are running top left. We're kind of playing like cat and mouse. We're all like spooking for their on it. It does Very spear nice their wrist into the mouth. echo. Oh, it doesn't really matter though. Are we going to go cart? I do not think so. Guys, okay, like we Very are nice kind of we're flipping the, the ball, map, but, but like the we're the not the flipping the bot right now. Looks like we are trying to flip the bot. Looks like we have managed to flip the entire map. Ball speared again. We're really able to kill that man unless they're made trolls every cooldown, which I don't think this guy will do as long as we don't spectate him. Looks like Xbox is anti 1 HP, 87 to beat, taking so much damage, so many angles, but that look at ball that old needs advantage. to go down. Echo comes out onto the uh, ODU's Orisa. We may oh, see the end of the pretty bad copy, to be honest. Going Orisa into that point, you can't really mark anybody as well. You kind of just like get out murdered. You can't really shoot the Orisa in the mirror to get ult as well, so you kind of just troll that. What are you getting two picks off rip should be to an still easy win fight now win. inside of Shindo. Looks like they're just going to give up, though. All those fights down. Look, they have four ults on the fight for that. Old mean is going to be matching that very, very shortly as well. All ults for Shannon, though, are pretty bad besides the Nano Visor here. But the other two are kind of just be able to get, like, easily marked or just ran over. Like, Valkyrie's there, but I think Joe Joey can hit the two-tap if they overclock the Valkyrie. Hope I so. <laughs> yeah, we have Mr. We have Jackpot 7. It looks like he got, like, all 7s today. He's, yeah. on, he's on the big Jackpot. He's rolling run. lucky. He's got hot This dice. guy has, like, the casinos watching him. We might see, like, hopefully he doesn't, like, bust out in the middle of this, but... It's, it's about to pay out. I can Let's feel see. it. Let's see. Looks like we can do get first close spawn already. Pretty easy to get Esperanza. Still... Actually, didn't even get it yet. We get it. Should get it. Like, very, very short. So we got lead. Now, we actually didn't get close spawn yet. Backer coming in. Tack Visor comes in. Nano Visor does get the headshot. Still can actually aim in that, by the way, if you didn't know. That's going to be down everybody... Looks like that's every ult besides mine for using the side of Shenandoah to ODU's one Blizzard and Window. Actually, that, yeah, like that was only really one ult used on the side of Old Dominion for o SU's three. So that's kind of how it works. Good. Shenandoah should be getting close spawn off of this. I think they will be getting the close spawn checkpoint and the butt scratch, but we actually will be able to get a close point for that. Should be able to go into the wrist pretty shortly. Looks so like we're on Sombra instead of the May. This guy has been playing Sombra apparently every day for the past two weeks after her rework came out for no reason other than to say, and I quote, to make people mad as hell. Hmm. That's a direct quote from Index the yeah. Man himself. Interesting. We have the wrist coming well, up. Let's Look see how that works out. out. <laughs> I guess he just wanted to use it to clear the mines only. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Uh, works out. I told you, minefield is kind of goofy. Looks like Rez takes that to a two down. There, it's Saus and pulling a mercy moment right there. Unfortunate down two on the side. Does takes K card again. The thing with Shenandoah on their comp is not really a lot of people can really mark cart on their comp at all. Like anybody right. who really marks cart is just kind of getting kind of get ran over. They can't just get ran over by their rest of their ball. Honestly, I think if you swapped it for like a anything else, like a Sigma maybe, like you'd have a lot better of a comp here. Yeah. I it's just that, that it's just ball like, is just absolutely just not just getting punished. Really, like, super bad. It doesn't even matter if he's getting punished. You can't do anything. They'll go for a slam. They all live. The only thing they can really lose off of is their Echo Mercy 
choosing a target and they're on a helping it. Like if these guys on Shenandoah all mark the same target and don't into four people into a brawl team, they should just be able to just kind of clean any target they really want here. It's like X-Boss should be down. That is a hay of flying taking out. It's really just the supports here. Like the uh, so DPS are trying to make anything happen inside of Shenandoah. It's like Adelaide should go down next. Does face tank that. Verdi is just going to be damaged on the corner. Udi in the lead slightly by a few meters. Uh, that could change here very soon as I do not think that they're going to be able to get back to the, the bottom Yeah, they will time. be close. For, uh, it will be butt scratch for both teams here. Both teams will be getting butt scratch here, but still anybody's game. Don't really know why we're on the Arisa still. It doesn't really matter that much. I think if, honestly a swap with Sigma or anything else kind of like having the ball to do whatever you want. I guess you can't really mark card as well if you're on Sigma instead of the ball there. But Again, Very like nice soldiers engage. really close there. They copy their Rissa again. Rissa copy seems really good, but there's just a lot better characters you can copy into that specific fight. But looks like we do take that. It takes a little too long. Rissa ult is taken down. But I think ODU just still wins this. Again, like you copy a Rissa into their team, they just kind of live through it unless you can like get yeah, like you have to copy really close to a team to actually kill them. Looks like we're getting a pause right now. Oh my God. Little pity pick on both teams. Both teams are calling for a pity pick. I guess they're really mad that that dupe didn't go down again. Another pause. I guess one of the players in Dublin's PC either shut down or they passed out from alcohol overdose. Um, fun fact, I did the math while we were waiting. Uh, I do believe that the regulation pause time for the match is uh, five minutes, correct? Yeah, that's actually in-game, though. Yes, that's in-game. Um, they took the equivalent of ten pauses before the match started. So, Just letting you know, guys, we actually started the match off waiting on one player from Old Dominion who was buying a Witch Kiriko skin, so... This is really anybody's fault. You can pick anybody you want. I'm yeah. gonna say it's. Wait, I'm gonna, it's Adelot's fault. We'll just say it's Adelot's fault. Thanks a lot, Adelot. Guy, hate that guy. We'll be back with a short break when this pause is over here very shortly. Don't know how long it's gonna be. These guys <laughs> are the king of pauses. We'll be back very shortly when this pause is over. See y'all then. Game time pauses because they are on a timer. Doesn't matter. Looks like we did end up cleaning up that fight. Was in the favor of Old Dominion already. This is really neck and neck, to be honest. Yeah. It's either team is here. Shenandoah does have a lot better target killing potential. They do have Sombra now, but who really cares? They have Sombra. Th this is a lot closer than I would like it to be. Yeah. May honestly, like I think Index is going to be really going for their Mercy. Or their Ana here. Their Ana is going to be caught out a lot because they do have the Mercy instead of like an actual other DPS. They go with Nano Visor here. Kind of mark it out. It does go the MP. That was actually end up killing their Ana, but I think it's a little too close. To call, like too, uh, yeah. a little too optimistic there for the Nano Visor. They do end up just pressing the funny E res button. Ana comes back into the fight. End up using two ults, three ults technically for our one. Could have uh, used it for nothing. That's worth it. I think honestly we could have just saved the MP, but I mean still yeah. But uh, uh, if we didn't, yeah. well, good thing we didn't use yeah. anything else. That's all. Yeah. That's all I'm happy about right now. Looks like we are having a mark here. A soldier does actually have a better chance in the Sojourn and the little neutral fight if they don't have Railgun. She just has a better outrange there. Are going to take card. They do give up card. They have that leap. It's really so minuscule. It really doesn't matter that much. going to go for the maybe a spear here. Should They're really die using here. Like, there you end goes. up killing the Mercy. They're pretty crazy. He's just holding his wrestle with the clear minds at this point. Kind of even on both teams. Ooh, nice picks. Anybody's fight, but there is no supports on the side of Shenandoah, and their team is a lot less sustainable than Old Dominion's. And that should be a fight win for Old Dominion. I don't know if I actually get lead off of this. They will have touch with Soldier, but they will have touch with Ball, actually. Never mind. Ball will be able to touch at this point. Nobody's game yet. Could maybe get lead. Actually, might be able to get lead. Before I think we'll get slight that. lead with if uh, Adelot's able to get a good spear off onto the uh, ball. I think we are going to be able to get Yeah, he just gets the spear off. This just whip him off right after. But that contest timer does end up going badly in Old Minion's favor there. That little contest timer of three seconds counts up for a little bit, even after they've been knocked off because of those characters like that. End up getting a pick on to Joka Joey, too. Doesn't make it out in Blood Index, does, but I think they will be able to res this very shortly if you don't mark that in time. X does try to mark it, does get erased for his sins. Echo Mercy is a comp. Unfortunately, their Echo Mercy damage just does just kind of melt you into Adams. It, it melts you into the primordial suit from which you came. Yeah, hopefully, like, our team does swap out of that primordial suit really shortly. Does pick a character that Echo does well. do well. Copies on Arisa, the again. Arisa again. This does end up working, but the thing is, again, on the Arisa copy, you have to make sure you can actually do something with it. Yeah, right. So and we have not seen that yet from the second Yeah, copy. we kind of just copy in the middle of their whole team and then we just kind of just get, use all our cooldowns to go backwards instead. Kind of how it goes. 
2.4 seconds, but every single time Old Dominion wins one of these fights that Shenandoah trolls, Mercy does go down the side of that. We do get closer and closer to getting that lead. I don't think Ball's going to be able to touch this time. He is going to try to run for his life, but will he even have time to stagger for this one? Uh, Cody, Shenandoah really won't have the response for this either. This is anybody's fight. This is really super close, but minute 30 on the clock. This is going to be an ultimate fight basically at this point. If you manage to get lead here, which I don't think they're actually going to be able to do because Ball will be able to touch. Actually can't body block at this time. Does not get the body block, unfortunately, but they have to get this lead here on this one fight. Ball is nanoed. Put that Ball bunch should of die that here. Appeared. It does actually there just get goes. melted down. Firing squad, it does get the lead, too. That's a bad usage of nano from the side of Shenandoah as well. You yeah. really don't want to use that for these fights. With how close it is, all these percentages really matter that oh, much. Oh, that is spear. a huge spear. That is actually an insanely big spear. Taking down the Ana on the side of Shenandoah. Yeah, really Index did go down, well. but uh, yeah, Ana going down on the side of Shenandoah yeah, like this close to the end of the game, it's... it's They have close spawns, too. Like, that Sombra would be back really, really fast yeah. compared to them as well. They just have the speed boost from Stealth. They have the TP from Translocator as well. Like they just, they'll be back in, like, around three seconds. I'm, I'm back. I'm surprised they're not back already. ODU getting pick after pick. Uh, Resurrection comes out on the Soldier, but... It, I mean, really, ODU's I mean, just like, playing Look at this, look at this lead right advantage now, now at this point. It's 40 seconds to go. If they don't even have to use an ult, they've gotten such a lead. If they use an ult now, they're basically trolling the game at this point to get it longer to, to anger us, to be honest. Yeah. Like, they ha look at that lead advantage. It's not too long, but it's good enough to where Old Dominion can lose, like, two fights and still have a chance to touch. Like, yeah. if they can literally just stack every ult they want, they're going to have Shenandoah is going to have duplicate. Will they actually copy Arisa for the 14th time? Who knows? Shocker, I'm going to predict it probably is going to be Arissa again, and they're not going to do anything, but they're going to have that and ball. They have the Arissa to mark the minefield again if they want to use that again. They have EMP to mark the mines, too. They have anything they want. They have beat soon as well. x, -Blast x -Blast does go down. down. Again, they don't even have to The ball does go down. They oh, copy look at that. Oh, no, let's spear the Arissa again, guys. Let's not be able to go on anything on high ground. Let's go mark our entire copy. To try Very to nice. All that goes down. Echo Too ult bad ult. Deleted. Down x -Blast for that. Almost C9 down the Sombra, point. Though. We can win this fight. Yeah, Arissa's down. This should just be a fight win for Old Dominion. This yeah, should, be should be a map a win, and that should be a game win for ODU. That should be a series ODU. win for Old Dominion for this maze stats. That is a 3-1. Please! Point. Make that a 3-1, guys. Let's go! Yippee, yippee. Yahoo. That is a 3-1 win for Old Dominion versus Shenandoah. Nice playing down there. Unfortunate plays from Shenandoah. Does troll a little bit of ultimates. All that goes. But who cares? We're on Old Dominion caster side. Yahoo. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> Yahoo! Good, good wreck. Good play there. Let's see, this play the game, Let's see this play of the game, guys. Let's see what Joka Joey does. This is overtime fight. Does pick two. Very nice. Crazy gamer alert. Crazy gamer Whoa. alert. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, does he get four? four? He gets four. four! Oh my god. Good job, guys. That's going to be it for Overwatch Varsity and JV for today. Pretty crazy break in the middle. Good counter here, guys. Good job, guys. Make that a 4 1. Little 0 3 series from JV happens to the best. Varsity picked up the slack, make it a 3-1 win. Mace and whatever JV is playing as well. That's going to be it for Overwatch tonight. Going to be back next Tuesday on Halloween, this, the Witching Day. The spooky hour. Focus, focus. Ooh, all, that, all that's going to be done for that. We are going to be done today, though. I don't actually know what is going to be going on later in the week. Probably COD, Valorant, all that. Can Same as usual. To, can actually go to... Uh, Gatekeeper, I think it is. is it Gamekeeper. Gamekeeper. Yes. Gamekeeper.gg. See the entire schedule for Overwatch Varsity and any other teams you want. Rocket League, Valorant, Call of Duty, what other game we play, all that. Gamekeeper.gg. Gamekeeper, like you're keeping a ball, .gg, all that. We're going to be done for tonight, though. Thank you for enjoying the stream, even though we had that excruciatingly long break. Hope you got, like, some food in there. Hope you weren't waiting at the edge of your seat wondering if this match was all that. But we're going to be done. I'm really tired. My blood alcohol level is five times the legal limit. I'm out. See y'all later. Goodbye.